Everyone, welcome to the stream. We're going to have 20 butters join us uh, shortly. We still have a little bit of time if people want to uh, do check-in code and whatever the jazz. Yo, Mardo, Bone Chip, Freaky Bot, Graham, uh, Rick and Morty, the Ronaldo. Great to see you all. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hey, guys. Yo, 20 butters. Good to see you, homie. Yo, butters. Great to good, see you, mate. Good to see you, too. How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty well, man. I'm, uh, I think I'm ready for this. All this right. Is, yeah, also great, mate. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good as well. It's a, it's a nice day over here. Oh, and I'm in a good mood for some grunt cup. Hell yeah, mate. <laughs> That's well, the spirit. Have you with this. That's the spirit. Yeah, we're all, uh, is that, if anyone has any questions, um, yeah, we'll, we'll announce the rules and such here in a second. I just want to get situated. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Yo, J Levin Die Jen J Devin Live. Great to see you, Kyle Levy. Welcome, everybody. So okay, right now we're doing our sixth run of the Grunt Cup, which is something that we've done with the Team Rocket stream team here. Oh wow, fancy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, we're really excited today to pretty much be able to do another community event like this because. This has been one of the things that I've really come to love to host and spend time with the community on because it's just a really good time all around. It's a fun meta that is pretty much influenced directly from the Team Rocket lore, but this current cup that we're competing in took a lot of influence from different team leaders throughout all the generations through the main series games, and that's how we came to the conclusion of our meta list. With the help of PV Poke as well, We've been using their, we've been using Matt's resource even before he was allowing to feature our meta monthly, which is really nice of him. And it's been really helpful because it's also allowed people to kind of team build on their own and without, you know, everyone, you know, holding their hand and such. Oh, um, hold on, let me uh, do something. I just realized I need to turn on something Rick and Morty based on that. My stream deck is not on. All right, cool. All right, yo, Jim Corn, welcome to the stream. Mega Evie, guys, welcome to the stream. Is everybody ready for this, by the way? Because we are, um, Dem, welcome to the stream. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to, I would love to have you on the stream to screen share. Uh, let's actually talk about that real quick. So, okay, Grunt Cup Season 6. We have a Pokemon list on PV Poke of our legal list. You could have, ref everyone pretty much here probably already knows this, and they've referenced it and built a team. So if your team doesn't match the list on PV Poke, if you're running any Pokemon that aren't legal, we won't kick you from the tournament, but it will replace the Pokemon on your team with a Meowth. So you're pretty much nerfed a Pokemon. So if you're running more than a couple legal Pokemon, we might actually have to kick you at that point, but we'll, we'll give you a chance. So outside of that, you gotta make sure you're in the Team Rocket oh, Discord right now. Yo, King of Charmanders, thank you so much for the sub, homie. Hey, King, how oh, you shit. doing? Oh, damn, love Peak L. Excited to have you. Bro, just thank you so okay. much, man. Great to have you here. Glad to have you competing as well, King of Charmanders. Hell yeah, that's so hype. Dude, I'm like super pumped to have. We have some new people competing this time, and that in itself is gonna be really hype. But anyways, um. What was I saying? Make sure you guys are in the Team Rocket Discord, because that's where you're going to be matching up with your opponents. I mean, you could try to do it here, but this is not the best place to do it. It would be better if your name is the same as your in-game name, so people don't have an issue finding you. We have a live chat, event chat, inside of the Discord. Right now, everyone's chatting in the Team Rocket Season 6, like the Grunt Cup Season 6 channel. But we're gonna, whenever we're actually battling, go to... We're, we're not going to be all fancy enough pairing channels. We don't need that, you guys. We're just gonna throw you in with each other, and it's like a mosh pit, and you have to find each other. But anyways, also disputes will be handled by Rocksteady Girl, and I'll try to keep an eye on that as well. So if you need to dispute any lag, or if someone doesn't agree with your rematch, make sure you are recording your match, and you can provide your side of the battle, uploading in Google Drive or on YouTube, and we, we can go from there. Also, um, if anyone wants to at some point sh share their side of the battle 
on the stream today because that's generally like what we like to do here is we like to kind of go around and then as someone starts you know taking the lead we'll start trying we'll try to see if we can get them on the stream but um yeah if you want to do that we're using that we use team viewer so you can download the quick support app on your phone and all you gotta do is share your code with me and it'll share your screen bam it's easy okay so outside of all that oh, guys check. um uh, wait what's We've up got a checking code already haven't we oh oh saying, yeah the checking code who, yeah if you guys so, do not yeah, post in the chat, it's 2376. 2376 is the check-in code. If there's any people right now that want to make a team real quick and join, maybe I'll give you like five minutes at max, but I'm just going to, because I'll probably be how long it takes for me to just finish talking about this stuff. And then we're, as long as um, we're all good, we're going to start this tournament and we're going to jump into round one. I'll probably just show my side of the battle round one to make things simple so we get things flowing and then we can try to Go from there. Maybe we'll bring Max on second, and blah blah, boom bing, bing. boom bang, boom wang. All right, guys. So <laughs> it's combusting. It's distracting me. Anyway, so where was I? Today we are going to be the first place Grunt Cup champion. will be walking away with a hundred dollars. Second place fifty dollars, and on top of that, you are the gruntiest of them all. <laughs> and that's what. <laughs> Is being the biggest grunt. We do have Freaky Bot here, who was our, he 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 was our champion last time. Will yeah. Freaky Bot retain his title as Grunt Cup champion, or will he go down to a newcomer? Oh. King Stay of tuned to find out. Yeah, it's gonna Can't be a good wait time. To get involved. Yeah, I'm really excited. This meta's really exciting, guys. I love the idea. I guess this meta was born out of. Rather than just doing the main protagonists from the original games, which was the original Grunt Cup, it was Team Rocket, classic Team Rocket Pokemon. This time around, it's like all of the villainous leaders from the main series games, what Pokemon they've had, as the, the or what Pokemon the bosses have had in each team. And it's such a fun meta. And we haven't really done as much as I would have liked to again, but it's often the way with Grunt Cup. We, you know, we, we do it <laughs> as it happens, and it's, it's always great. So super excited for this one. It should be good. I hope we see loads of spicy teams. The way we grunt cup, it's true. I'm we, excited we, to see Sass's versus team. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the team that we. I know we, we we only spoke briefly last time we were, were on stream together. We were chilling out and having a little bit of a different take of stream. But I'm actually using that team that we did talk about then as well. I haven't done much okay. practice that's with good. it, but we're still I'm still running it. I actually swapped Haunter for Gengar, but that's the only change Oops. there, and that's a little hint. Ooh, okay. Away. Okay. Let me do something real quick. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, okay, guys, are we ready? Is everybody ready? Um, is there anything else I need to say? Did I forget anything? Um, if your opponent doesn't have illegal Pokemon, let us know. Um, yeah. If Make you sure have you any problems, in. just I don't know. Let's checking codes in the chat. Make sure you this. checked in on the Silver page. The chat. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe EV too. Rounds will be thirty minutes. It usually goes pretty fast. I think Bone for the Chip's most part. here again as well. Bone Chip, a two-time Grunt Cup champion. Very good to have you here as well, sir. Oh, I'm getting hype now. Are all the levels okay? Can you guys hear Butters and Max? All right, because that would be perfect. Are we all good? I think yeah. Now that I got. An actual mic. I feel like I haven't had as much as many problems with the volume, which is nice. Should we start this? Let me let me see in the Discord actually. Here, I'm gonna go in the live chat. Make sure you've checked in, guys. We're gonna be closing it real soon. That's that's the checking code. It's two three seven six. Go to the Silk GG page, the tournament page. Make sure you put that checking code in, and you've got your team. Anything Make sure. Oh yeah, sorry, guys. I'm inside the Team Rocket events Discord. I'm saying, is everybody ready? In case you're wondering where to go. And we're gonna have to like at times reset the zoom just because of the nature of using the free version. But whatever, it's gonna be great. It's I'm minor, isn't it? I'll be fine. Whoever's facing me, you guys, uh, you're gonna be facing me on stream. So be nice. Be nice to me. Alright guys, um, 
Let me check the Twitch chat and see. How, how you guys? You guys ready? Is there anyone that I'm not seeing that's not ready? Oh, dang, King of Rank 11 Shadow Hypno. That is awesome. Oof. That's so good. Damn, that's crazy. King. I wish that we don't. Hypno's not allowed again, is it? No, it's not. He's just saying. He must have just done a yeah. rocket stuff. I mean, like a balloon. Hypno, Got a hypno nice balloon, has yeah. been hip no since the beginning of no. Broken Cups in season one. <laughs> it's no. always been a Pokemon which should be eligible, but we can't. It's too allow good it because it just flattens everything. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's too it. good. It's way too good. One day, raid buddy what? for a day. <laughs> you stay away. You're, you're funny. Anyways, let's do it, guys. I'm going to start the tournament. It doesn't seem like anyone's saying anything other than... Let's, let's uh, go. We've got not checked in yet one person, so I think... Who is it? Uh, let me have a look. What's oh. up, Freaky Bot? The, he's the reigning champion, right? Yes. I've sit up Grunt Cup 5. The King, the King Fiend. If anyone knows who that is and knows that they're online or something... Oh, King Fiend. Yeah, and I feel like he... Is absolutely doing this. Hold on, let me tell okay. Can someone quickly message him? Because that's the only person we don't have checked in. Everyone else is actually checked in. So well done, guys. Thank you so much for being like so fast with it. Uh, awesome. All right, let me uh, make sure he's doing it, and then we should be good. We'll, we'll start the tournament. Sorry that it's taking a little bit of time, but at least we got everything covered. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything that I need to state. Um, may the gruntiest grunt win, right? <laughs> you got a rank 14 shadow scum tank that's awesome that's a fun one to try because uh the meta right now is for gbl is heavily like tropius g fisk azu so stun fisk has the good matchups with <laughs> with the or not stun fisk gun tank has the good matchups with azu and tropius you, you can have that flamethrower for stun fisk king fiend does anyone? I messaged him on Discord. Are you here, King Fiend? I know he messaged me earlier about playing, but oh, that was such a shame if they miss it, then, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is not an intentional thing. I like they've been yeah. RSVP'd for this tournament since July 13th. I think they want to do this. They were messaging me like literally like 28 minutes before the stream started. Oh God! Come on, where are you, King Fiend? He's he's online. Okay, right. he's messaging. He said one sec. All right, we got him. It's gonna. It's all good. King Fiend is on it. Yeah, it, it, sometimes Excellent. it's weird. Like, sometimes you check in, and then you put in your team, but it like doesn't actually, for some reason, check you into the tournament. I always double check. Ooh, I just hit an excellent on a Zubat. That doesn't happen very often. Hey, it's mate, gonna be a good that's day. like proper planned excellent. No. <laughs> Uh, just so literally right. a properly a proper like, flew into it flew into the <laughs> yeah. accident boat. calculated yeah. mate it was a rubbish <laughs> it was a rubbish excellent i just threw it <laughs> okay, i'm gonna i want to try to do something a little bit different today i want to try to see if i can bring up my opponent's like team okay i mean it'll be easy for me but i want to try to bring up Whenever I bring people on the stream, like I want to crop in their team of six on the stream. So it'll take like a second to set it up, but I, I'm just going to use two browsers. And then whenever people match up, I'll just find them on the list and then like, you know, line it up to the cropped. So it'll be a little more interesting because that way when people are watching, if they're just tuning in, they can see the full teams against each other and then they're watching oh, the yeah. battle. That'll be great. Yeah. I think it'll be actually easier for Butters as well, rather than Butters having to quickly look, or and me as well if I'm helping, quickly looking up what everyone's team is. It'll, if it's on the screen, we will know instantly. Versus. We'll have loads of pages open and stuff. Definitely. Can anyone, or is there a, a command for the link of the tournament? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, command grunt. Okay. There you go, I've got it. Okay. Discord, you. there's a link to PV Poke and the actual tournament there. Alright. You guys, you mean like, you guys can chill in the voice chat if you want and talk to each other, but like, I mean, it's not a serious tournament. I'm not gonna like, like, if you want to lose, like, tell people your shit, like, that's all. 
Yeah, it's I like, mean, this is not an official silk tournament. Ball. You know, we really want people just to have fun. I mean, there is prize. Yeah. There is a reason to want to play seriously, but for the most part, these are just supposed to be really fun metas that we get to use really interesting combos. I would actually recommend you guys talk to each other in the chat yeah. because that was one of my <laughs> favorite parts of like competing in Continentals uh, is we just like trolled each other for like <laughs> in between rounds the entire time. It was really fun. So I <laughs> great, yeah. Get I mean, absolutely get involved in the chat. So yeah. don't don't reveal your teams if you don't want to give away like your game and stuff don't reveal your play style but definitely get in, involved in the chat and like enjoy hanging out with each other and enjoy the fact we're all doing this together it's great yeah, yeah. thanks again for participating everyone okay so are we all good um let's take a look at the yeah, what, what everyone are everyone's you checked in bot? everyone's uh, checked in guys i'm just gonna start first round if that's chill I'm ready. Ready, guys? Ready, Round five, one five, in five, 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 four, five. three, two, one. Good luck. Let's do it. Oh. I'm against Hiker Gonzo oh. again. Oh, oh my wow. god. Is, Hi is <laughs> Hiker st like every is Hiker streaming it again as well? Maybe Hiker's on stream with the tournament again because last time we had multiple people streaming it from That's their awesome. perspective and stuff. So, you know, if you can do a Kimbo streams, dual wheel streams, you might be able to see the battle from two sides on this one, which is pretty cool. Damn, that's insane. Like, Hiker again. Yeah. He's probably, Great, I mean... <laughs> fantastic first battle. That's awesome. Oh, no. Awesome. And by the way, there's already some people in the Grunt Cup live chat. If you guys want to go in there and hang out, I'll be right back real quick. Just like one minute before we get this started. No worries, mate. Chat, I want to try to set this up in a unique way real quick just give me a second that way i can use this as uh i can use this as a reference yeah okay so first let me change this to saints france versus hiker All right. I'm, I'm matched up against Ace Ares for my first match as well. That should be another good game. Oh yeah, for sure. Guys, Jiggly just... Dad, welcome in. Jiggly Dad, welcome. Uh sorry, I'm Chrome. My bad, dude. Yeah, we we're trying to get a roll. We we're, we kind of are trying to get this on the roll because there are people who are in different time zones that want to get the bed for Go Fest tomorrow. So yeah. yeah, we had to kind Me of, being one of them. we had an hour check-in before the tournament. Okay. Good to see you, Chrome, as well, though. Okay, just give me We've a got second. got lots of great people in the channel. Let's do some oh, shout-outs here while right. Satsy's just uh, setting stuff up. Right, okay, so shout-outs to I'm Chrome PvP, another Pokemon Go streamer here. Uh, a really good dude. Yeah, uh, shout also, to... we've got King of Charmanders in here uh, right now. Another brilliant uh, Pogo player, a fantastic battler. Also, we have Jiggly Dad in here in the channel as well, joining us right now. And Rock Steady Girl. Thank you for so many shout outs coming. But make sure you guys go check out all these wonderful players. Yeah, they indeed. really, really are all offering fantastic content. You like my uh, Streamlabs setup, guys? <laughs> it's chaotic. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm just going to do this real quick. It'll make sense. And it'll be kind of cool, hopefully. Holy shit, I just looked at his team. This way, like, each time we have someone on the stream, we can just change it this way. And then everyone can see what's going on. What's going on? Thanks for doing the shout outs, by the way. I really appreciate it because I'm just like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course. Uh, yeah, guys. The, the people that I've mentioned in the chat, all fantastic streamers. Rocksteady Girl, another Team Rocket streamer, also in the voice uh, channel, helping mm. us out, doing any disputes and stuff. If you do have a problem with the game, make sure you bring it to uh, Rocksteady Girl's attention and she will help out. She's fantastic. A fan, brilliant streamer. Uh, such a lovely person. Make sure you go check her out. King of Charmanders, it's a pleasure to have him battling with Hell us yeah. in the Grunt Cup this time. Make sure you go check out King of Charmanders. A, such a spicy battler and the most energy out of any streamer I've ever seen. It's incredible. <laughs> Got so much energy. It's 
amazing. If you could bottle up your energy and sell it, it would be incredible, King of Jamunas. Everyone would be buying it. I'm Chrome BVP, a relatively new Pokemon Go streamer, recently featured on King IV's um, stream with uh, some coaching, which was really, really hype. Make sure you go check him out as well. And also we've got Jiggly Dad in here who's joined us. Jiggly Dad does amazing interviews with so many different um, Pogo players from all walks of the game and stuff. Does shout casting schools where trying to help people get better at commentating oh, the game. That's kind of sloppy, stuff. but is that Make better sure than check him out as well. not having it there? Is it kind of, I mean, it's better than not. Maybe I could crop out the names and just make the Pokemon bigger. I can tell what it is from, I am got the screen like full size and I can still see them all. All right, let me uh, message Hiker so I can do our battle. All right, guys, we're going to do, are uh, you ready, Butters? We're going to do the spray I'm ready. first. All right, cool. You see my, can you see my team here or is it a little too small? Should I crop out our names? And just make the teams bigger. I'm just about to jump into my first game as well here, guys. So if I go a little bit quiet, that's because I'm concentrating on battle. I want to become the gruntiest grunt that's ever grunted. All right, guys. What is he going to do? Let me uh, hide my game for a second while I decide what to lock in. Okay, so let's look at my opponent's team. I'm a little nervous. Like he's wearing masquerade. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, it's madman. All right, here we go. Sorry, I was distracted. I think it was like my it was my aunt's birthday, and we we're supposed to make a video, and I sent it to the wrong person. And it was a whole ordeal. But let's oh, get into birthday, some break up. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! You're on, though. Happy birthday. <laughs> I think I actually sent the video to her, and oh no, it's bad. <laughs> Damn, this is such a crazy... I'm trying to think what to do. Alright, this first battle is going to be like testing the waters. I'm not, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. Alright, let's go. Good to see Becca Porion in the chat as well, and also Jerumba. Guys, what's up, my friends? Both other great streamers here. Right, we got the Gyarados, Shadow Gyarados, into the Alolan Muck. These Dragon Breaths are going to add up so much. Oh, it's the Waterfall version! Oh my goodness, Sass is running the Waterfall version. I don't know how this is going to do. Look at how much is being bit down. Wait, Hiker's running Bite Muck? This is crazy. Is Yeah, I just this... realized he's running Bite. <laughs> this is... This Gyarados is beaten bite to death. It's going to be able to be farmed down. Oh my god, the Gyarados is staying in here. He's just going to be able to bite down and probably get to a Dark Pulse for the next Pokemon. And here comes the Toxicroak. This is probably a Dark Pulse. So we're going to see if Sass does commit the shield or just let it go. It will chunk no matter what. Maybe it's an Acid Spray. Oh, it is the Acid Spray. Okay, so now this Toxicroak will be able to farm down, just punch him to death. This oh Amok finally goes crazy. down. What weird fast moves to start out. That's why you gotta love the Grunt Cup. You gotta be able to pay attention here. And uh, Sass does have the two shields here. And in comes the... Oh my god, this is bad. This is bad. Sass just got our rock, paper, scissors a little bit. He is gonna be able to get off some nice body slams. And like I said before, Hiker is down a shield. So if he can ever threaten two body slams, which I think he can. Oh no, but the Toxic Rope just takes it. And he's gonna be able to just farm down and save that shield probably for the Alolan Executor. But no, he will have to shield this. So there's still play here because if Sass can somehow get to a Sludge Bomb, on his Toxicroak before he gets Confusion down. He can win this game, but I don't know if he can oh, get there. Shit. Oh wait, I think he can, it's gonna be so close. If he, he just needs two counters. If this Toxicroak can survive two counters, Sass can win. This is gonna be so close. One, okay, one more Mud Bomb, that's fine. He's gonna be able to shield this and to get one more counter in. If he gets one more counter in, he can win this game. He just needs one more punch, one more punch. He gets it. Oh no, but he's one counter short, I think. But you can sneak in the counter before the confusion. And he sneaks in the counter before the confusion and gets to that sludge bomb. Sludge bomb, and that should one shot an, uh, an executor. And that's Holy a GG. Shit, that was oh my goodness. That is crazy. Wow, wow that was fucking G -G. crazy. 
flipping heck. What a game to start us off here. Wow. Oh wow. my god. That was insane, yeah. I can't even believe that battle. Wow, that was crazy. He's running bite muck. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like wondering why I was doing so much damage. I'm like, am I am I experiencing a glitch that I've never seen before? But it was just bite. All right, holy smokes, dude. Okay, Whew. that was a tough first battle. GG. That was a great, good first battle. All right, let's see. I'm trying to think what he's gonna do now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what a, what a good day. <laughs> Jiggly Dad, thank you for the host, homie. I'm really trying to think what he's going to lead here. Man, that bite mug. That was a surprise. Yeah, right after the waterfall Gyarados as well, because you usually expect to see bite on Gyarados. So the, the muck had taken away Gyarados's bite. Dude, I got... That was scary. It was super. It was a very, very exciting first match. Like, what a brilliant way to start the tournament, guys. All right, good luck, Hiker. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. I have no idea. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. Another bite mutt lead. This should be fantastic for the Toxic Croak. I expect Hiker to want to get the heck out of here because these bites are resisted. But look at how much they are chunking. But it's gonna take so long to get to a fast move or a, to get to a charge move by the Alolan Muck, and these mud bombs are super effective. Just gonna be able to chunk. But Hiker does like that switch advantage, so he is gonna shield here and then switch out, saving a little bit of energy in the safe switch Gengar. What? Oh my goodness! And Sass just has the lick of tongue for the safe switch Gengar. But what moves is this Gengar I bet rocking? It's sludge bomb. If it has the sludge bomb, is this gonna still chunk? Oh no, it's Shadow Ball. He's running Shadow Ball and Shadow Punch. That must be the play. At this point, Sass could just use that giant tug to lick down and bake <laughs> up so much energy. And this Gengar uh, is feeling pretty sad right now. Uh, wow, lick a tongue, putting in work once again, just like last tournament with Freaky Bot. And here is the Shadow Punch. So now Sass does know the entire moveset of the Gengar. And will the Bite Muck come in or will we see the third Pokemon? This Lickitung is just beaming with energy here. It has two body slams already, and I didn't quite see what this is. It's a blind body slam to me. Maybe Sass caught the typing before I did, and it is a Toxicroak. So the Toxicroak is going to try to farm down this Lickitung, but these body slams are just adding up. He's going to have to commit his last shield if he wants to survive. And will he commit his last shield? No, he's just going to let this Toxicroak be licked down. But he will be able to get to a mud bomb. Will he throw it or will he just get licked down? He just gets licked down here. Lick a tongue is insane. I love these normal type lickers. They are my favorite mon one of my favorite mods <laughs> as of right now. And uh this giant tongue is just putting in so much work. One more body slam, no shields for this bite muck. And Sass now has two shields and two very healthy Pokemon. And he just comes in with the talk stroke, is gonna land that mud bomb and a clean battle number two from the scariest battle in the world in number one <laughs> to a very safe victory in game number two that's oh a gg gosh. there that was insane I, I made the right lead call there i was like he might just stay the same because like if i i was thinking about leading like i was like he might lead executor lead i'm like he won't do that he won't he didn't even bring it actually he brought the gengar to deal with tox kirk that match Right. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to. Let me make. Let me pick real quick, and then I'll log back in. <clears throat> I'm going into my third game here with Ace Aries as well, and it's one all for us at the moment. The last game was so close. I won with literal one HP. Oh my gosh! Good luck, guys. Good luck again, Hiker, dude. These are these are great battles. 
Man, I wonder what I, I wonder what he'll bring for this final round here. All right, apologies. I'm gonna mute just for a bit in between the games, just so I can devour this food. No problem. I'll, I'll get right to the casting when it starts. That sounds great. Okay. I'll talk over so Butter's camera can go invisible, so he gets to enjoy his food because that is something which happens with Zoom if. It's whoever's talking, the camera will go on to them. So I'll let Butters enjoy his food and you don't have to watch him eat then. It won't feel uncomfortable if I'm watching him have a snack. We're waiting on the third game here between Sassy and um, also Heiko, who is actually streaming it from their perspective right. as well. Good luck, Yo, a massive raid there from the Yo, Salty, salty pig. pig. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Shout out the Salty Pig, guys. Yeah, brilliant dude. Oh my... No. Okay, this is... um. That's not oh good. my goodness. The Masquerade lead. And at this point, he's going to bank up some energy. And does he just throw the bubble beam? No, he saves that energy and just comes in with the Executor. Can the Executor just farm down now? I apologize. I have some food in my mouth. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. And this crunch is going to be shielded. And at this point, I think the Executor can just nicely resist these waterfalls and just farm down. And now he's going to have a good amount of energy. Possibly going to be able to get two seed bombs. Here comes the Lickitung. And how much will these seed bombs actually hurt, or will he go for uh, one psychic? I, I believe this is just going to be a seed bomb here. He's probably going to want to double up on seed bomb. He has. Oh, oh my god! The solar oh beam. My. Oh my god! Get beam sass, and now <laughs> the first beam. You just got so this is the spiciest battle, actually. Somehow Lickitung is just so beefy. He survives a solar beam and still gets off a body slam. This oh, I was not expecting insane. that at all. This Pokemon's insane, and now the Masquerade will be able to match up with the Toxicroak, which is quite nice for the Masquerade. It can, at this point, uh, just farm down, but it probably is going to just throw Bubble it, Beams. Yeah, I think to... I'm, I'm definitely... I can't win this one. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe that. The Solar Beam? Like, not only did you lead the Masquerade on Toxicroak here, he got a Solar Beam off when I had two shields. That's insane. On a Confusion Pokemon, too. I know, like... Uh, that's, that's crazy, <laughs> so... Well played there by Hiker and good call on the lead. That was Hiker actually a pretty awesome team. moment to come in. Here, I'm just gonna let him take it because. Ooh, Silver Wimp. Wait, what? Oh, you got the boost! Wow. <laughs> Insult the injury there. That's Gets his, the boost. That's like the, at the end. That is the four glory match for sure. So we ended up still taking that match because we won the first two battles, but that last battle was redemption for sure, man. That was a great battle. Good Welcome games, to the stream, guys. everybody. What yeah, a so, lovely start. Yeah, so we're, we're uh, just finishing up our first round of Grunt Cup Season 6. We'll probably have Max on the stream next if he's down. Yeah, absolutely. I'll have to swap. Uh, maybe I might have to swap phones. If someone else can do it, it would be better because remember, my phone goes super laggy. Oh, yeah. I have to get my other phone. If, yeah, if anyone um, else wants to. Okay, so I won the first two and he won the last. Congrats two. to Ace Aries as well, who beat me in the first round, won the first game. I won the second game, and then Ace Aries took the third game there. Well done, Ace Aries. It looks like my dreams of becoming the gruntiest grunt that's ever grunted have maybe just been uh, grunted out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was actually quite a first battle. Wait, did you win your first round, Max? Yo, Salty Pig, no, thank I, you again I for that raid, man. The really three appreciate games, it. Unfortunately, Shout out to I've Salty been, Pig. I've been defeated. Welcome, my boy. No Dude, worries, man. I got fucking solar beamed. <laughs> but, by a, but by a fantastic competitor. Ace Aries, well played. They Those were really battles good. were amazing. That was actually one of the coolest first rounds I've done in a tournament. Yeah. Well, how exciting! And I mean, he could have like Buzz, he could have actually Buzz's taken energy that almost. Then was so high, dude! Fantastic commentary, but it's such a pleasure having you here doing this for us, mate. That was amazing. I had such a big smile on my face throughout every single game listening to you. It was brilliant. Thank you, man. Fantastic and, stuff. And that's what I feel like will be exciting about Pokemon Go in the future, where <laughs> like it was a waterfall versus a bite muck, and no one was expecting that. And so if there's like a diversity of, of movesets where it's just a surprise, it's going to be so fun. So that's why the Grunt Cup is so fun because there's so many surprises. Like you don't know what's going to happen. Like uh, I, from the very start, the first match, a Bite Muck versus a Waterfall Shadow Gyarados. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my Toxicroak survived to Sludge Bomb that Executor. 
that yeah. first battle. The, the really cool thing about uh, turns is you were able to sneak in that counter before he got the four turns off on the confusion and get the sludge bomb before he got his confusion off, which was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, honestly, like... A lot of, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at some of the teams. We can actually take a look at some of the teams if you guys are down. Um, let's go over there real quick. What's Mocha running? Let me yeah. my game. <laughs> six shadows. I bet it is six shadows. Oh, for sure. But which six shadows yeah. will they be? <laughs> <laughs> let's see. We see Hound Doom down here. Wait, someone ran Machamp. Machamp's oh. not illegal. Pokemon. So it looks like all the rest are legal for uh, that person? Yeah, so they can't run Machamp. They have to run. Yeah. They just can't run Machamp. Cri Crib Slinger, just make sure to uh, change that Pokemon and communicate with all your opponents that you have changed that Pokemon. I think that's the best way of going about it. Everything else is looking pretty legit at the moment. Some Wobbuffets. A lot of Toxicroak. Definitely yeah, no, loving the Masquerade. Oh, Masquerade is a really nice one, actually, too. A couple of Sea Kings I've seen. Yo, There's a Freaky Bot. There. We've got Polyrath, Dunk Tank. Electrovire. Shadow Electrovire from Riff Raff. Holy shit. Uh, a 1500 CP, yeah. too. I love it. Huh, these are pretty interesting. Yo, yeah, Jimmy! Great diversity. 6 9 Poggers, thank you for the 200 biddies, man. I really appreciate it. It's okay, Crib Slinger. We're just letting you know, like, that the, the way we deal with it is, like, we're not kicking you from the tournament. You just can't run it, unfortunately. Or you can run, like, you can run a Meowth. But the so the best thing to do right now is, is just decide right now which Pokemon you'll be running for the rest of the tournament. And then you can post it in this chat. And then in the Discord, I think. And then make sure you communicate with every op yeah, opponent. Every opponent. Every single opponent needs to be made aware yeah. of the change. I mean, yeah, if you have another fighter you want to replace it to, to, I guess since you're the only person that has that issue, yeah. it's yeah, like. It's only, it's it's only round one. It's a simple and as long as you're, yeah. Also, as long as your first you opponent is okay with that as well. Because if you run them a champ and they feel like they're entitled to a rematch, maybe they should be. Yeah. So uh, just make sure it's all communicated between every opponent that you face now. These are pretty interesting teams. I'm seeing a few Frostlass. Drapion. Oh, what's Jim Corn running? Jim Corn is running a Nidorino. <laughs> and a Doug Trio. Probably a uh, Legacy? It has, it has to be. Because yeah. you, you can't actually TM for Mudshot on it. It has to be one that you have. Oh, really? It's not in the pool if you try to elite TM it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't TM it. Wow, wow, that's a that's a real legacy right there. Rematch. He won all three, no worries. <laughs> Get, it's like, but if you ran them a champ, maybe that's why you lost. No, See, but... Chris Singer, you've got to be like, I ran them a champ, we've got a rematch. <laughs> three rematches. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, I was thinking about running the Shadow Crobat over the Gyarados today, but... I don't know. I don't want to talk about much beyond that. But I really like this team. Like, what? This team's kind of scary, actually. Nidorino. Damn, the Spice Master. I don't even know what Nidorino Moose that is. Is Mocha not in this? I'm sad. I, I haven't seen Mocha. I don't think I see Mocha. Oh, no. We it, miss you, Mocha. Next time. Yeah, I guess Mocha might have accidentally missed it. Oh, that is a shame. So who wants to come up next on the stream? Um, I'm down the. Is there anyone who would like to share their screen for round two? And we can see how close we are to. How about we have one of our previous victors come onto the stream to share some of their gameplay? Do we have phone chip playing? I'm down for whoever. Anyone who's interested. Okay, we we have a few matches still. If anyone wants to, if anyone has team support, that's how we're using it. Or if, I guess I could even go to like, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to go about doing it. There's more than one victor. Wait, is there? Yeah. 
There's Victor. I think I only see one. I'm really intrigued to see how this pans out. Someone's running a leopard. Oh, okay, uh, the Zoom call ended. I need to bring them back. Give me one second, chat. One second. Good thing that happened right then. I, I, I knew that was going to happen, but I completely got sidetracked. So it's going to happen like this. Let me, um, real quick, invite them back into <laughs> the Zoom call. Sorry about that. We'll have Max and Butters back here in a moment. There actually was the timer and I saw it, but it was it, it happened initially whenever I was still battling and I just completely forgot to do it after that. But yeah. All right. There if someone go. in the chat could set a timer or something, or did you set a timer? No, I, I have it. It's just like, that was a human error. Oh, yeah, it happens. It's not a big deal. I swear it was more visible before. Like now, when I'm just looking at my Zoom, I just see the shared screen, and I don't see the, the countdown as much as I used to. I don't even, where even is it? Yeah, King, do you have a quick support team viewer? Yeah, we can have so you up on the stream next. It's supposed to be in the top middle, Max, but I swear I don't see it unless it's like at two minutes and then Ooh, it just shadows, pops up. Think. This yeah, is it it's not bad for me at the moment. Okay, yeah, DM me your code and whenever this round is done, we'll bring you up on the stream next. That'd be great. Yeah, that's exciting. I mean, King, yeah, King of Charmanders with all the beams, hopefully. We've already seen one beam. Okay, we have three more battles. Already. In the first three games, we had a soda beam. From Exeggutor with it against a double shield as well. Amazing place. We are talking on Zoom, but the actual battles that we're gonna be sharing are on Team Viewer. I'm excited to have King play because I know King hasn't competed in a while because uh he made that decision, but I know he loves to play, loves to compete, and this is a fun tournament and it's gonna be nice to see him battling again. So I'm I'm really hyped that King is in this and we're going to get to see some of his gameplay because I know it's going to be spicy and there's going to be at least, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing two Pokemon on this team that can be. Oh, yeah, definitely. And what a pleasure to have him participating. If you haven't watched King battle in the past, he's always building like um, really inventive squads and always looking into gaps in the meta and stuff. I remember in season one of the um, PvP, watching him take it all the way to rank 10 with his Master League team that he built. That was special watching. Uh, really, really glad to have you playing, mate. And hopefully you're enjoying it, King of Charmanders, because this is what it's all about. It's all about just having a, a fun fun time. This is a fun meta. Uh, yeah, I like these to teams. Hang out and chill. Really creative teams. Oh, sorry, I've got the dogs barking. Nidoqueen and Alakazam combo here. What kind of dog do you have, Max? We, I have a Labrador and also a Dachshund. Oh, okay. The Labrador's nice. called the Labrador's called Brock as well. Brock. So you have to, yeah, wow. you have to defeat him to get the Boulder Badge. That's awesome. I have a Labr, <laughs> I have a Labradoodle. So. Oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah lovely. What's your, you've told me before, but again, what's the name of your dog? His name's Trey. Trey, so, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Trey. And our sausage dog, Lincoln, is uh, he's called Lincoln, little sausage dog. <laughs> he's the noisy one. The one, the, the barking is always the little sausage. That's that's how it works. The, yeah, it is. The little, the little ones dogs. are yappy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yes. Um, let me uh, do that, Rocksteady Girl. Someone wants to remove from the tournament. Do this. Let me. Like, I like how 
King said you got corn dogs roasting. That's such a like fancy way to say you put frozen corn dogs in the oven. <laughs> all right, all good. All right, King, thank you. I will um, connect to you in a second. Thank you for sharing. It might take just like a moment to get it all set up, but yeah, for the most part, we're going to be on a roll now. No, Jiggly, I, the pandemic has caused me to like, has forced me to learn how to cook. So I've actually learned how to cook a little bit during the pandemic. Wait, what happened, Birdwatcher? You got a mon change right after it started? Oh, yes, I think he's talking about uh, the person who ran the champ. I think, I don't know, it's up to obviously everyone else, but my opinion is this tournament's for fun. If he clearly communicates which Pokemon he's changing to it now and sets stays with that Pokemon the rest of the tournament and makes sure and every opponent knows which uh, new Pokemon it is, I, I feel like that's, I feel like he should be good to go, but I, I guess that's up to other people. Yeah, wait, what's going on? Ultimate yeah, days, days. the Alolan Graveler, Golem, and Muck and Grimer are allowed in Grunt Cup. Cooking is awesome. Yo, cooking is the best way to spend time with people. You make the food, then you eat it. And it's good. Maybe I should actually post on my Discord that I'm live. Are you talking about Birdwatcher Hawk? Are you talking about uh, Crib Slinger? Yeah, I'm not sure. He, he said look at the Discord, but I looked, and I don't really understand what I'm looking for, particularly. What am I supposed to be looking for here? Good luck, boys and girls. Kobe wrote in Grunt Cup 5, good luck, boys and girls. Why does everyone always just like... Bra I I don't know. I feel like let him use a six Pokemon. Just declare your Pokemon before your new opponent. And I, I, I this tournament's for fun. Let, let him play with six Pokemon, I feel like. Yeah, just make yeah. sure you've communicated it and make sure that it's they like, registered. That they it's one person, you know. And yeah. I mean, he's not gonna, like, he lost the first round, so unless he, like, all of a sudden just sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an honest mistake. So, yeah, it was yeah. an honest mistake. Yeah, because uh, Machamp is a Pokemon which was historically allowed, and it was all yeah. the way up until is it this? Was it taken out last season? Or... Yeah, it was last one. Yeah. Uh, just make sure it's communicated, mate, and make sure that y your opponent each time registers. You know, they reply saying, "Yeah, I, I realize that you changed oh, no, it to whatever." It's all good. I actually like agree, honestly. It like. The biggest thing about this tournament is we want to have fun. Like, yeah, we are. People are competing. There are going to be good battles to see, but number one, Grunt Cup should be fun. And if it's one person we're really dealing with, like, we don't have to just have a very like, yeah, that maybe the standard makes sense, but like, we can easily deal with this in this scenario, and everyone understands what's going on. So it's fun. And it looks like the official change for Crib Slinger is he's now replacing Machamp with Sharpedo. Okay, cool. Another DM, let me check. <laughs> okay, so let me fix something real quick. Um... Okay. Yo, Tom is in the channel. Good luck to all grunts playing right now. Didn't uh, have to be at work right now, otherwise I'd be in for sure. Tom is great to see you, mate. Tom thanks, is... all, thanks for the luck. Welcome Big to the stream, to homie. Great to see you. Thomas was one of the original creators of the Grunt Cup along with me and Sassafras. It was me, Sassafras, and Thomas who came up with this idea and started doing these tournaments. So, uh, pleasure to have you in here, mate. Sorry you missed this one. Next one. Okay, let's see here. Someone else is dropping out. Let me get them out of the list before we hit the... We might be ready to move on to the next round. We're dropping like flies to these Grunt Cup 
combos. Just can't handle it. Can't handle the grunt! No, it's all good. We have... but Oh! Okay, actually we're about to start the next round, it seems. King. I think we just need Before Dawn to register the outcomes of the battles, and then everyone's done it. Yeah, I'm going to connect to you, King, by the way, homie. So, incoming. I just started connecting. I just started to connect to the, to the man known as King of Jamandias. He's gonna king your heart. Yeah, let's see. Bam, 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 bam. Man, that was a crazy battle with Hiker earlier. I wonder what, how the next one will go. Okay, so... I think I'm connected to you, King. If, uh... I think I'm connected. Daniel, welcome. No, this tournament is not through Sylph. Like, we're using Sylph for the matchmaking, but it's an unranked tournament, and it's pretty much done through us. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I went a bit, a bit quiet then. There was lots of talking in the background here, so I had to just mute my mic for a moment. I'm back. No problem. No worries. I was just eating some blueberry pancakes, so I was quiet Ooh. too. <laughs> it looks Tasty. good. It looks great, King. It looks really clear, actually. Um, let me actually... I can just bring you up if you want. I thought you were talking about my pancakes at first. I'm like, they do look good. <laughs> 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 Jesse Rachel in the channel as well. Jesse Rachel, what is up? Great to see you. Big shout out to Jesse and Rachel there. Brilliant streamers. Right, cool. Oh yeah, I Jesse saw... Rachel, welcome everybody. Great to see you. I saw you guys. guys doing a 20 hour stream yesterday. How did that go? That was awesome. Yeah, that was incredible work. Well done guys. I hope it was as hype as it was when I was in there. So it looked yeah. really, really good. I really like your uh, the setup you guys have too. Uh, like the the UI, I don't know what to call it for streamer setup, but it looks it looks really good. And uh, it just, oh wait, hold on, I see what happened. Hold on, let me change this. There we go. Oh, he's showing he's showing off his shadow hip though. Right, we got King of Charmanders on the stream right now. Let's see. Evolve it for stream. Yeah, do it, mate. Evolve, Evolve it on stream. It. Evolve it. Evolve it. Evolve it. Evolve it. Evolve it. Evolve it. Yes! Yay! Purify it. Purify Peer pressure wins all the time. Oh, you have a Budweiser right now? I do, mate. Yeah. Man. It's the Grunt Cup, mate. I'm jealous. What the hell? Chilling. Got myself a drink, got my, got, got a beer. Oh, it's yeah. Lovely to be here doing this. I am I'm having a great time. And Jesse, Rachel, really happy to hear that. Uh, impressive you guys did it 20 hours, and I'm, I'm really happy to hear that it went so well. Same, guys. Not an easy grind, those long streams. They really, really do a number on you, don't you? And your energy was super high all the way through. So well done. A fantastic job. I hope it went amazing. Ooh. Kind of shocked still from it all. Oh, yeah, you got a bit of shell shock still from it. It is a little bit like that when you do a massive stream. Okay, are we ready to continue on, by the way? Before dawn, what is going on? Can... Oh my god. He's got the shiny electrode also. Are, are, did you guys, oh. Do you guys have a contest? Beautiful. Is there like a dispute or something? Hold on, uh, we're just waiting for it before dawn. Before dawn, please report before dawn. Yeah, before dawn, sort of vibing <laughs> off the. Before dawn, you just need to press enter on the results for your battles, and then we can go forward. It yeah, just please submit it before dawn. I forgot to <laughs> submit. No, no worries, it's all good. No okay, worries. we're good. We're good. All right, guys, you ready for round two? Let's start it. See good you. luck, okay. everyone. Okay. Oh, um, I'm against the Garda. This is going to be a great game as well. 
Let's do King Charmander's against the Ronaldo. Ooh, the Ronaldo. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna bring oh, the Ronaldo as well. Amazing. Good, good to see you participating. I'm versing Ronaldo. Drumwitch. Drumwitch. Okay, awesome. Some good matchups here. Damn, Grummy. No, Grumwitch. Just give me a second, homie. <laughs> I want to make sure I set up uh, this just real quick. It'll just take a sec. Okay, so let's see, King. Oh, thanks for those teams on the screen. So we got King of Charmanders with the Electrode, Skuntank, Frostlass, Executor, Shadow. Oh, Skuntank, Shadow also, Zangoose, and Toxicroak. Fantastic team. Uh, definitely potential for two beams there with the Electrode and, as we saw earlier, the Executor does have a solar beam as well. It takes a while to get to it, but Hiker had no problem doing it. I'll hide and him while he's picking. <laughs> no problem landing it either. Mm. Versus the Gengar, Breloom, Slow Bro, Electrode, Vaporeon, and Lickitung. Quite a nice team from the opponent there as well, the Ronaldo. Lickitung is one of the underrated mons. I know a lot of people don't have it because it's like has to be level 40 and with Body Slam and getting good IVs on that is difficult, but it's a really solid Pokemon. Just great bulk, great moveset, pretty neutral versus everyone. Not a ton of steel in, in the meta. Uh, there obviously is some steel, but those Body Slams go pretty unresisted. And uh, I believe it was really high on PvP poke as well, maybe number two uh, below the Crawdilly. The funny thing is, I don't believe we've seen a Crawdilly yet, which was number one on PvP poke. Yeah, no one ran one yet. Like, I have one on my team, but I didn't run it. Okay, there we go. I'll leave it to you. I'm going to focus on my battle with Grumwich here. Sounds good. Good luck in your battle. Good luck, Max, and good luck to everyone else out there. Have fun in your battles. Here, I'll hide King while you're picking your team. You can send it over, by the way, Grumwich. Here, let me hide you real quick, King. And then whenever you lock in, I'll bring you back up. All right. Very interesting matchup. Both teams do have that fighter. But the thing is, besides Zangoose, Breloom doesn't have much of a target because if the Skuntank is running Poison Jab, oh, here we go, the Shadow Skuntank lead. Let's see the moveset. It's probably going to be Poison Jab. And what will the charge be? Oh, no, it's a bite. It's a bite, Shadow Skuntank. Wow. But these water guns are adding up too. It's a, fa a fast move off. At this point, this is just the Aqua Tail, I believe. So it's, it's not that punishing to let it go but king does shield it vaporeon uh aqua tail is just not the greatest move but it will chunk for sure and then now king is going to get to the crunch and at this point the vaporeon will go down but if it shields it should be able to win while matching shields but if king double shields this he can nicely take switch advantage and i think that's going to be a play or no he was looking to switch to aqua tail he doesn't switch Aqua Tail. He does go ahead and shield that. And now King effectively has switch advantage. How important will switch advantage be here? Oh, it's a last resort. That's uh, that's interesting, uh, especially from your last move before you die. A last resort, very fitting there by the Vaporeon as it goes down, throwing that last resort. And what comes in it is the Electrode. Wow. But will Skuntank be able? No, it gets Volt switched down. And then here comes the Zangoose. And this Electrode is just building up energy. Please beam. I'm so excited for a beam here. Will the Electrode throw a beam? I don't think it's quite there yet. I still think it's at Thunderbolt or uh, Discharge, but maybe it's at the beam. Oh, it's a foul play. He's running the foul play, but that chunks so hard. The Zangoose is almost dead at this point. The Electrode could shield and farm down. Let's see what the Ronaldo decides to do. It does go for that. And King, good mechanics, doesn't want to get farmed down there. Just goes into the mirror Electrode. And this is probably another foul play. But this is really interesting because the shiny Electrode by King will be able to take this. And can he start farming energy? How much energy is he going to get to? He's going for the beam. He's crazy. He is a madman because uh, the Ronaldo does get to one more charge move. But is it a discharge? King will survive a discharge. No, it's another foul play. Wow. And King is about to, oh my God, last second beam here. You'll love to see it. 
King just going for the beam. If he's going down, he's beaming on his way out. And look at that beam taking out the electrode. What does he have in the back? It's a shiny lick of tongue. Wow. And uh, right now, these Shadow Claws are resisted. Can he get to close combat? He gets to close combat. This could KO. Close combat is such a strong move, but Lick of Tongue is tanky and there is no stab. Can this KO? Oh my God, it gets so close, but Lick of Tongue is too tanky. Ronaldo with the body slam is going to take out the Zangoose. What a match. Man, King had a chance there. I know King loves the beam, but if he threw the double discharge, I think he might have won there. What a game. I respect it, though. I respect going for the beam there. I respect that. What a game. GG's, guys. Garda absolutely GGs. trashed me. Well, in my let, me uh, battle there. <laughs> let me hide King real quick before he locks in. Okay, know. yeah. I love King's team. Two shadows, two shinies. Through the beam. You gotta love it. I'd expect nothing less. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're waiting for the lock-in. I will take a bite of my pancake and get into this game. Oh, yeah. It's a fun day so, so far. They have to send it again. It looks like they air it out. Really interesting seeing the shadow bite skun tank. Really cool. Didn't expect it. It chunked so much. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, he already locked in, my bad. I didn't even... It's okay, it happened so fast I didn't even see it. <laughs> the Ronaldo picking his team. I really like the Ronaldo's team also with the shiny that golden lick of tongue, which looks so beautiful. I, I wish I had one. I, I I wish I could trade some lucky friends for some shiny lick of tongues, but that is such a rare Pokemon. So here we go. The Shadow Executor into the Slowbro. Interesting matchup. These are both resisted confusions, but Slowbro is tankier, but Executor gets to the seed bombs before the ice beam. So I think this is Executor's match to win. Uh, this three-headed monster is just looking really happy right now. Look at the left monster. He's just like, I'm winning this, no problem. And then the Slowbro does shield that. Now this ice beam will like go ahead and KO the Executor. So he's looking to switch it and he switches it. Great counting on Confusions, really impressive counting. I know Confusion is, uh, is not one that we're all familiar with, but King is uh, very good at those sacks, which is takes the ice beam. Wow, it does so much damage to the Zangoose. And now the Zangoose is getting farmed down before the foul play. This slow bro just put in so much work. It just destroyed the Zangoose. Literally sack swapped it, but now he can line up this electrode, but he lines it up into the Lickitung. And now he's going straight for it. Oh my goodness. And this is the body slam. He has two shields here. So he's just going to go ahead and commit the shield. There is time because Lick doesn't do a ton of damage it is a nice neutral chunk but will he go for the bait or will he just go just for it it looks like he's just going just for it in king style kayu sayuka i don't know how he says it that was my impression but <laughs> there he goes he lands the hyper beam it goes through lick it tongue doesn't shield it but will he farm down no he barely doesn't get the farm down but he's shielding he's rocking with the electrode here he's gonna have more energy he's gonna get to another beam so soon that's what i love about electrode electrode gets the hyper beam so fast it's like one or two volt switches away and oh no the slow bro had energy but I, electrode is tanky it should survive an ice beam and get one more volt switch it does survive does it get the volt switch before oh no but he throws the discharge this will take out the slow bro and i believe there's one more discharge for the electrode so he'll be able to discharge the next pokemon but he switches out he banks it oh no does he get the seed bomb go for is he gonna go for the seed bomb no but can he throw the discharge oh no he's one volt switch away he doesn't get there gengar slaps him to death with those shadow claws the ronaldo taking it two to zero wow really great game there uh i i'm impressed Jeez. with slow bro slow bro put in some work there zangus is uh is squishier than i realized Good game, guys. Well played. 
Also, well played to the Garda who is making a mess of me right now. Well done. <laughs> There's some good, good plays going on right here. <laughs> I've sent you the third. We may as well do it. You've got to try and let me redeem my honour. So uh, I've sent you the third battle. Let's do it, Garda. PvP Monster Max not really making an appearance tonight yet. I'm going to come in clutch in those last rounds, I think. I'm oh, still yeah. learning. I'm still learning this team. I threw this team together with Buzz and Sass last uh, couple of days ago, actually, and haven't really played with it since. So I'm still trying to learn it a little bit. Yeah. He's not angry enough. Now that he's lost two games now, he's angry, and then the monster's <laughs> going to come out. All right. Game number three, Electro versus the Lickitung. Can King of Charmanders go three for three in landing oh, beams? Oh, man. Good game, Scrum. In these games. And he's just going... He's looking like he's trying <clears> to switch <throat> a body slam. I like that play. The body slam is coming through. Golden Lickitung just flapping his tongue in the wind just looks so beautiful so majestic the body slam does go through electro takes it is he going yeah. straight for it no does lickitung have ptsd from previous beams i expect a shield here no 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 shield wow this lickitung doesn't care about beams at all and electro does get those two discharges so he might be forced to shield anyway because discharge is just the most energy efficient move <laughs> for electro and there comes the shield. And does he try to switch the body slam or does he just sack? Oh no, he shields it. He wants this electro alive so he can get to a beam. He wants to be three for three for beams. I expect him to bank some energy and then get out of there. But no, he's just gonna go for the discharge. Just win the one shield. No, he's going for the hyper beam. He's going for it. Does he get it? Does he, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get the hyper beam because the Ronaldo switched in the electro and here comes the hyper beam. Does it get shielded? No, it goes through. King is three for three on hyper beams. And he switches in the executor. Just headbutts him down with the confusion. Oh my goodness. Just completely annihilating the opponent electrode. And what's in the back? It is the slow bro. Oh, this is a GG. King can just get the two seed bombs here. Block the ice beam. Wow. Great composure by King there to be patient to get to the hyper beam and just destroy that electrode three for three beams from king you would expect <laughs> nothing less well played it, this is actually going to be a bit close because the switch timer is up does he switch on this no he doesn't switch on this so i believe the seed bomb will go through it will ko the slow bro lickitung in the back is quite low should be able to confusion down here and here it comes one confusion to confusion oh no here comes a body slam this is gonna be very very close this is gonna kill it but wait what am i talking about there's just a whole number third pokemon and it is the zangoose and he's gonna shadow claw resisted and he almost tabbed out oh no he switches he sack swaps an electro just for this this player and now this body slam is gonna go through uh he's just prolonging his victory as long as possible letting everyone soak it in <laughs> and now he's gonna farm down oh no he's gonna throw the night slash will he get the boost i want the boost here this would just be very fitting to get a last second flex boost for king does he get it he got it oh, he oh. Did. oh. <laughs> damn gg wow. wow great game well played wow. guys that's how you flex a victory well done king uh great beams but the Ronaldo takes it two to one. Well played, the Ronaldo. I love the shiny Lickitung. Yeah, good games, guys. <clears throat> good games, Grum. Grum took it that round. Good games. It's really well played, for sure. I managed to get All my right. get my honor back and did win the third and final match there. So yeah. There oh, nice. we go. Now I'm, st I'm starting to play a little bit better. Right. Now it's starting to meld together a bit more. Thank you so much, uh, King, for sharing your battles on stream. Definitely, man. And, and Jiggly Dad, uh, yeah, where, where you at, man? It's okay. Uh, hopefully you can enjoy the next Grunt Cup. <laughs> yeah, guys. Well, we will be doing more Grunt Cups. Um, we're already been starting to think about what we're going to do for the next mm -hmm. set of rules. Now know? that we know that the friendship thing is um, extended, that means there'll be a... I assume we'll have Grunt Cup next month as well. With a different spice approach, we'll see. 
Definitely excited to talk about it, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're still absolutely in not. the yeah, moment. Still loving this right now. It was fantastic to see three beams there from King of Charmanders. We ex all expected it. He delivered. I've well done for Reynaldo for taking down King as well. Congrats. Really yeah. good plays. They well were played. fantastic games. And the boost right there at the end uh, was lovely to see. I do like it when uh, get, you know you, you get a victor from 2-1, really. So it's obviously they're all close games, good matches. Yeah, uh, they're really close. Having a great time as well. I hope you're all really enjoying yourselves. And remember, keep it fun. Keep it friendly. I hope everyone's loving it. Okay, so at the moment, I'm going to actually... Go back over and we'll see how many people are still working on their sets right now. A lot of people still going. Yeah. Damn, I was in pair two. That was really tough though. Really well played by Grumwich. Bone Chip took his match. Aaron took his. Victor goes down to Javier. Hiker takes that the round. Tenrixen King goes down to the Ronaldo. The Garter goes takes the L. I mean takes the W. <laughs> Jesus, I can't even speak. Takes the W. I'm going to reset the Zoom call in like five minutes. Yeah, all right, mate. No, what, what, do you want to just do it now? I mean, we might as well just like... Drag it out. Milk just it out it, yeah. as long as all possible. Right. <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. I'll just pay attention this time because we're, we're still waiting for people to complete matches anyways. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Hopefully we've had no disputes again this round. Everyone's... Uh, Wait, okay defending champ is down. Oh no. Wait, really? <gasps> that is a bit of a mix up right there. Oh shit, RC Cola taking the pair one. Pair wow. Yo, people are just dropping like. You, you never know what to expect in the Grunt Cup. It's hard, it dude. It is a very, very spicy meta. And it's very unpredictable. I mean, think about the very first game we had took Butters by surprise with two fast moves there. We might see RC Cola versus Grumwich. Ooh. Or wait, how does it work? I think it goes down here. So who wants to be on the stream next? Is there anyone in the chat that would like to share their battle on the stream? Um, does RC Cola, do you know how to use TeamViewer? Are you hanging out right now? I mean, you don't have to go on the stream yet, but eventually if you're keeping up, if you're still doing good in like a round or two, it would be a pleasure to have you on the stream. Um, if anyone else wants to be featured, all you have to do is download TeamViewer Quick Support and share your code with me. Bone Chip, yeah, if you if you want to. That would be great to have awesome. you. Love that Bone Chip on here. That is one of our, our two-time yeah. Grunt Cup victor. And the, ve the only person to ever win back-to-back back -back back. Back. Grunt yeah. Cups. Yeah, yeah that's true. DM247, good to see you. I'm glad uh, you're Sounds participating good, in cool. this, and I'm, I'm happy you're having fun. We, we played some battles last night. Uh, sent me some some great league battles. That was fun. Oh, great. DM is fantastic. Dude, loving that you're uh, having fun with your buddy Rhydon. Yeah, sec. cool, isn't it? One of Giovanni's finest Pokemon right there, Rhydon. And also, actually, one of, I think Rhydon was the very ever first Pokemon design. I'm fairly sure Rhydon is the first ever designed Pokemon. Wow. And um, yeah, it if is. you have Because they were the based on like the Kaiju. Yeah. And if you have a look in the statues of the original games in red and blue, if you like go into the gyms, there's those two statues which always are next to the person who like welcomes you to the gym. They're both Rhydons as well. So, but definitely a, a nice Pokemon to have in the Grunt Cup. I love my Gen 1. All about Gen 1. We could also talk to Jim Corn about being on the stream because he said he'd want to at some point as well. Hell yeah, that'd be exciting too. I'd love to see some uh, some Jim Corn action here. The cola, I'm I'm superstitious to stream. No worries. If you don't want to stream, you don't have to stream. Although I would say, uh, last time we did this, being yeah, the person on stream is quite good luck. Yeah, the person who was on stream wasn't it Freaky I'll... Bot? We just ended up. I agree, I do better when I'm on stream. I feel like because I'm like, I can't lose. Everyone will laugh at me. <laughs> as long as that one, even if I lose this tournament, that very first round where I was playing was epic. So as long as that's what you remember of me. Jim <laughs> is down also. That's awesome. Dude, I'm, I wonder who's going to take it today. Because right now we're seeing Aaron, Bonechip, Grumwich, and RC Cola 
undefeated. So, I mean, Bone Chip is a previous winner of a Grunt Bone Cup. Bone Chip is scary. Bone Chip is a scary. But we have competitor. we have three people that we have not actually seen take a Grunt Cup yet, and they're putting up a fight at the moment. Oh, fantastic! Great stuff. All right, in about two or three minutes, I'm gonna reset the zoom. I'm just taking a stretch here myself, stretching the the soul. Sounded like a good stretch, Rob, mate. <laughs> I know, mate. I know. Oh, you guys don't know what Sass is saying to me right now. Uh, you should have heard what Sass is saying about you guys. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. He said you guys are amazing, and he really did say that. Fucking pieces of... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, that Grumwich guy, man. Like, what's a fucking Grumwich even? <laughs> Grumwich. More like. What are your guys' favorite Pokemon that you've seen so far as well? Let me know. Grumwich. What your favorite Pokemon you've seen is. <laughs> what? Uh, favorite spicy picket? Let's hear him. Dude, honestly, Grumwich is scary this time around. I'm not going to put too much emphasis on my battle because I don't want to reveal anything, but I'm, I'm intrigued to see how the rest of this tournament pans out for everyone. Absolutely. I mean... I've already had some. I mean, it's, it's got, got off to a very a, a incredibly fast-paced start. Okay, wait. Actually, we have Jim Corn now also joining the Undefeated Club with Steve <gasps> SP as well. And Dun did him. Okay, so we actually do have Dun did him hype as well. Shouts yeah, to Dun did him too. Absolutely. And, uh, yo, Dun did him. Great to have you well. here, by the way. Yeah, big shout out to Dun did him and Jim Gorn, guys. Both fantastic content creators. Night Stalker, welcome, members homie. of our extended Pokemon Go Twitch family. What a pleasure to have you both battling with us as well, guys. Thank you so much for participating. Guys, I'm gonna <laughs> reset the Zoom call real quick. Um, Sounds good. No worries. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah, so once everyone finishes, probably like in the next, I don't know, we started, we're going pretty fast. I mean, we're almost on the third round, and then technically we're like, we're doing all right. We started a little late. Hold on, let me make a new Zoom call real quick, chat, and then, bam, we'll be back, and people will be talking and expressing emotions and thoughts, and beautiful it's just <laughs> all right so if anyone wants to be on the stream download quick support team viewer uh jim corn or bone chip either of you if you would like to be on the stream next that is totally chill with me you guys can uh whoever i guess gets here first but we still have probably like five minutes or so but i would like to get it set up if we can All right, let me, bam. Where's OBS? Ob, Obus. You're still SP. That's what I figured, Night Stalker, when you talked after that. Okay, cool. Should be good. Also, Dun Didim, if, I don't know, any of you guys want to, anyone who wants to be featured. Suck the, no, I mean, for real, we're, we're, we're like open to it. We are yeah, very Yeah, it's nice to open. have like a, 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 you know, a variety of people hosting, having their games on stream. And also you get to hear Butter's commentary on your gameplay, guys. And that is something which you do not get every True. day. So definitely do get involved if you'd like to. Registill versus Shift Green GBL. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome, Jim Corn. Thank you. What's been your favorite Pokemon you've seen so far, Rob? Or your favorite team, maybe? Can you send it? Um, 
Do you send it over Twitch or Discord, by the way, Jim Corn? Oh, you did it on Twitch. Here, I got it. Say, ask that again real quick, Max. My bad. What's your favorite team that you've seen so far, or maybe even your favorite Pokemon that you've seen so far? So far, um, seeing a lot of Toxicroak. Um, I feel like Pokemon-wise, Zangus, I think, is definitely a really good contender in this cup, but with all the Toxicroak running around, like the, I think they make a good pairing, but at the same time, I think like the Lickers, like I do agree, I think Lickitung is going to be kind of like MVP today, but I don't know, maybe we'll see it in our opponent's team. Lickitung like has got his tongue out again, getting into every yeah. crevice. <laughs> I'm feeling like maybe Lickitung might... I mean, Cradilly is the predicted MVP just based on yeah. baby poke, but I feel like we've barely even seen it. I don't know if people are just not bringing it for whatever reason, but... It's my weird Pokemon so far, uh, Dundin. I'm, you know, I'm still deciding what my favorite Pokemon I've seen so far is. I liked the bite muck just because it was so unexpected. You know, I like that. When someone brings something which no one expects to see, uh, really cool. Uh, I do also like Licky Tongue. It's fun to watch, isn't it? Frost it's, last, thousand percent. And it's weird because... Frost last, yeah, nice choice there. Yeah, because it's the one ghost type that can actually do some damage to the the normal types. Oftentimes, those Pokemon like Lickitung end up being the MVPs just because those Pokemon are the ones that allow you to line things up. Like sometimes there's like, you know, Toxicroak, Cradilly, or those are really dominant in their roles. So if they're lined up in the right matchup, they're just gonna dominate. But those Pokemon like Lickitung, where you can safe switch or use to create a shield advantage or uh, use to create a farm down opportunity. Those ones that you can are really flexible, like because Lickitung is durable. It has a neutral move set and it's very flexible. Like those Pokemon that can allow you to line things up like often become the MVPs, so I'm I'm actually excited to see some more Lickitung gameplay. Definitely, I totally agree. And also, it's it's the, quite the it's the ease of use of Lickitung as well, isn't it? When it comes down to there's some of these some of the other yeah. picks that you you really have to know what you're doing to play them. I mean, I'm struggling a little bit Got with the team corn. that's been created with me because the plays I need to be doing I'm not quite pulling off yet, you know. And um, Lickitung is a nice Pokemon to use because it's simple to play. It's quite easy to play. It's a safe bet. It's a safe switch. Very good Pokemon. Uh, nice choice. Definitely one of the uh, best so far we've seen. We're just waiting on one match right now between Jonathan and Big Sheesh. And then we'll be able to move on to the next round That's here, guys. Big Sheesh. That's uh, Darumba. <laughs> this is your best cup? You think this one's going to be the one? What do you mean the one? Do you think this one's going to be your third? For Bone Chip. It's his best, it's the best cup because Bone Chip's always winning. Definitely one of our <laughs> scariest competitors that we have here. What's Bone Chip's squad actually? If we haven't looked at it already, let's have a look what Bone Chip's running today. Let's expose him. Slowbro, Scizor, Cradilly, Toxicroak, Frostlass, and Alone Muck. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Nice. Damn, that's actually kind of scary. Yeah. It's not boring. I'd say that's quite a spicy squad, really. I the like sizzle, it. There's only a couple. There's only a couple of people running Sizzle. Frostlass. You've got Dundidum's vote there with that Frostlass. Mm. Um, Toxicroak and Cradilly. They're two Pokemon we're seeing in a lot of the teams here at the moment. Yo, uh, welcome to Stream Brace of Combat Goose. Everybody, welcome. We are currently uh, almost done with round two of our Grunt Cup here. It's going to be a six-round tournament. We have a lot of grunty teams here. We're just looking at some of our uh, trainers that are currently competing today and the teams they brought. And everyone has now competed, completed their matches apart from one game is still ongoing. Yeah, we're just so waiting for uh, Big Sheesh and Jonathan. And then we can totally progress here. Scizor is fun. It's quick support, yeah. It's team viewer quick support. So the next uh, round, we're going to be featuring Jim Corn. He has a pretty spicy team. I mean, I, I, I need to see this. Like, he's running Nidorino. 
which you need a hundo of. Um, here, I actually make this a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, that is cool to see the Nidorino. Very, oh, very nice. And three shadows there on the team. Executor, Polyrath, and Sizzle, all shadow. The Doug Trio as well. That's an interesting pick, having Doug Trio on the team. There's not very many people running the Doug Trio. I like that. Another one of Giovanni's finest Pokemon right there. Yeah, he has the legacy Doug Trio, which is... Um, uh, yeah. I can only imagine what kind of work that thing is actually doing this cup. Because we haven't really seen a lot of ground types, but ground is really good in this cup. All right. Well, I apologize. I had to eat, and then I accidentally sent a birthday message to the person that was supposed to have it for a surprise. So that was awkward. So all right, oh, now hey. it's all cleared up, and I feel terrible. But at least oh, we're dude. playing. Oh, dude! Oh, dude! I'm sure they loved it still. Oh, yeah. Man. Happy birthday to them. Because I was supposed to send it to my cousin, who's going to compile them all Probably together. Yeah. But like, oh uh, yeah, and you've they, just sent an early. So. Yeah, she. They changed Party numbers hat, like five know. years ago or something. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> oh well. Well, at least she knows that you're all thinking of her and she's probably super excited about it. Yeah, exactly. that's a lovely thing to do. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Are we getting gym corn next? Yeah. Is it? Are we? Are, are we all set? Is a? Uh, are we? Let's look and see. Big sheesh. We're still waiting on Big Sheesh and Jonathan. Let's. Let me try to get an update here in the Discord and see. What is going on? Thanks, Bone Chip. <laughs> what is really... What is really going on? Before Dawn saying Drapion is a huge threat, I figured. With Ice Fang. <laughs> I have seen one Drapion already. Yeah, well, I've encountered one in my first match. Wait, okay. Drapion, quite an interesting Pokemon. Let's see. I often get confused with the typing of Drapion, and I think it's because it's it, it drops Aqua Tail so consistently. I always have in the back of my mind that it's got water typing. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, and it's almost like a bug as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. It looks yeah. like a scorpion, so it's yeah. a very confusing Pokemon to, to remember <laughs> yeah. what the, ty the correct <laughs> typing of it is. Yeah. So definitely a spicy choice, and you might well encounter a Psyduck like me and confuse the heck out of them, not yeah. knowing how to counter it. I love that. That's like my one of my favorite things. Like that's why I wrote like really spicy stuff because that, that it's unpredictable. You get, yeah, yeah. If you get your Pokemon or you get your player like unaware of your Pokemon and they don't know the matchup that counts. Like then you have you have that advantage. Oh like uh, yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've been grass knotted by Minon. And be like, oh, <laughs> damn it. Yeah, that's a new one too. Like, I honestly no, yeah. wouldn't even expect it. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. I think they're getting a little bit of lag. Okay, they said GG's. Nice. Okay, guys. Is everybody oh, ready? Hi. Everybody ready for round? I guess I, I guess I could try to be in the chat saying next round, but... I think Rocksteady Girl is doing a great job. I think Jumba's in there as well, so... Guys, you know, we're about to start the next round. So, good luck to everyone, and may the gruntiest grunt be grunting. <laughs> good luck, guys. Right. Let's do it. Up. And thank you, Rocksteady Girl and Jumba and all the other people that are, like, handling the behind-the-scenes stuff. I know that's yeah. the hard part. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> that's the part I can't do. I can just yell at things <laughs> yeah we get to do all the exciting stuff all the hype 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 yeah. get beamed <laughs> yeah exactly Ooh. like when i'm doing like streams with production they're working so hard behind the scenes that i'm just like waiting to like just like watch the beams <laughs> yeah speaking of rock steady girl, oh, good. No problem, i am good. competing against in this round oh so, yeah okay we, we the round is up by the way and we're gonna have dream corn featured on the stream and he's versing dun did him I'll send them Ooh. up to you, Rocksteady Girl, as well, mate. Okay. Let me, uh... That's awesome. Let me Jim get them up here. Them. What a great wow, matchup. Wow, nice. Yeah, brilliant matchup. All right, so... Yo, this is going to be f sweet. This is a streamer on streamer game right here that we've got as well, which is about to come up, which is super Pretty epic. exciting. Um, okay, uh... 
And I'm versing Tenrixen, so Tenrixen, just give me a second, and then you can send over the battle once I have our homie set up here on the stream. This is going to be awesome. I'm excited for this matchup. Okay, so... Hold on. One of the things I missed about in-person tournaments is I feel like you could like catch people off guard more often because like there's no time to actually like look at Sims and like I don't know, back in the in-person yeah. stuff I feel like people were less prepared and then Definitely. now like Grunt Cup it feels so much like that you could just bring something and just shock someone and just have them unprepared and I feel like that's like a lot of the magic. Yeah, definitely. Well. There's so much fast move damage going on that you, 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 I mean, I'm sure there are people who are still quickly trying to look up the matchups while they're battling as well, but it is much harder to do when the games are so fast paced. Oh, is that a 1500 Shadow Stantler? Oh my goodness. Shiny. Oh my God, Sorry, shiny. shiny. Yeah. 1500 shiny, shiny, Shadow, shiny Stantler. Shadow Stantler. I remember he was wow. talking about, he was talking oh. about this the other day. I remember. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty funny. That's crazy. That I didn't even a... know that existed. James no, Elliott, thank you for the biddies Pokemon. coming. Oh my god. I honestly didn't know Stantler could be Shadow. I didn't know it could be Shiny Shadow. Uh, wow. Alright, let me um get our opponent's teams up here on the stream real quick. Yeah. Jim Corn has a fantastic collection. Well, let me... Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. Slam Jam. Ooh, I like that. Slam Jam. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just put names and then you guys can battle whenever. I'm just in awe of Jim Corn's collection. Definitely. Yeah, I know. One, yeah. One. I was, I was, you know, I was thinking the other day, I was in the shower and I was like, you know, if for some reason someone had to have my Pokemon collection, I feel like they'd be very happy with my Pokemon collection. I'm sure they would be, mate. Play for the heck. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I have a lot of cool stuff powered up, but yeah. now I'm looking at gym cord stuff and I'm like, my, my collection ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Grass is always greener on the other side, mate. Always. Yeah. All right, guys. Yo, Nightmare, what's up, homie? <laughs> Man, it, and Jim Corn is um, a player that I think picked up the game maybe like two years ago or maybe took a break for a while, but he is a, he grinds a lot. And as you can see, like all you this stuff. You can send it to in, by the way. Put the good use. If you're in the stream. All right, I'll go over the teams real quick. We got the Shadow Executor, Drapion, uh, Nidorino, I believe, uh, Shino, Shiny Scizor, Crawdilly, and I actually can't even recognize that fifth Pokemon. It's a bit small for me. I don't know. What is that fifth Pokemon for Gym Corn uh, in between the Crawdilly and Shiny Scizor? I... We'll get back to that one. And then <laughs> it does end up with the, the Frost This is Doug Trio? Oh, the Doug Trio. Yes, is that what you're talking about, Doug Trio? Trio? Of course, yeah. The Frostlass, the Beedrill, uh, the Polyrath, Magneton, Breloom, and Zangoose, I believe. Uh, interesting matchup here. Dundidum, uh with, I think, an uh, underrated Pokemon as the uh, Polyrath, but Jim Corn also is, is, I believe, running the Shadow Polyrath, so that's going to be interesting. Do you want me to hide your screen right now, Jim Corn? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Got it. <laughs> good luck, everyone that is competing. Good luck, Sass. Good luck, PPP Monster. I know it's coming out this round. All right, mate. I'm having a good game right now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. It's close, though. It's close. I'm just really starting to like start to love this team. You know, it's starting to mesh a little bit more now. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, and I just take the first victory right then as well. Nice. Yeah. Very close game though. GG's Rocksteady. Thanks so much for the battle. Let's go. I'm really curious what he's going to run here. Hey, Dot in the channel as well. What's up, Dot? 
Dot, great to, great see, to you. see you. All right, guys, thank you for coming out the stream today. Nightmare says that when you take a snapshot of your buddy, it gives you 10 incense from the GoFest rewards, and then when you use an incense, it gives you 200 great balls. Oh. Oh, do we got a battle? Yeah, oh it's, my it's god, it's the true legacy. It's the true legacy Doug Trio versus the Polyrap. I have to imagine this is a bad matchup for the Doug Trio. But this Doug Trio can just throw a bunch of mud bombs, and that looks like that is what Jim Ford is going to do here. So these mud bombs are going to get there so quick. Let's see how much damage they'll actually do. Wow, that's a lot. Doug Trio has a high attack stat. Wow, the Ice Punch is going to do a ton of damage, though, because it is going to be super effective. Ice Punch is uh, not stabbed by Polyrath in uh, not the strongest of move, but it gets there pretty quick. But I am shocked at how much this Mud Bomb damage is doing because Polyrath is a tanky guy himself. Now, after this, after the second Mud Bomb, this Polyrath is going to be in very low health, but he shields it. Wow, look how ahead that Duck Trio is in the one shield matchup, and he's going to catch an Ice Punch on the Nidorino, which is also going to hurt a little bit. But Nidorino kind of tanky here. And is he going to be able to farm down with the Poison Jab, or is he going to go for the Horn Attack? That's a move you never see. I have never seen a Horn Attack in any Pokemon Go game in my life. Beautiful. <laughs> it lands. The Horn Attack lands then. Polyrath did switch out with just a little bit of health into the uh, Magneton, which completely resists everything this Nidorino has. At this point, this Nidorino probably wants to die and bring in that Legacy Doug Trio, and that's what the plan is. But the Discharge goes through, and I guess Nidorino is only poison type it has no ground type because that discharge was not resistant and at this point what does the duck trio do does it just go for a full farm down with these double super effective mud shots oh my god it's so squishy though it dies it dies to a magna bomb and and a thunder shock wow and here comes the sizer scissor these bullet punches are being resisted double resisted uh actually and oh my god these discharges are just gonna add up but this Magneton might be able to close out this game. This Night Slash should threaten the KO, definitely threaten the KO by a, a Shadow Sizer. And now this Magneton could shield and go for the last Discharge, or we can find out what Dundidum has in the back. What is his third Pokemon here? He has one shield for it, and it is a Frost Slash. That is probably a GG, unless somehow the Bullet Punches and a Shadow Night Slash could kill a Frost Slash, before oh my god this could be really close it has to get to a shadow ball it's probably gonna get there this is probably the shadow ball if this is the avalanche there's a slight chance but if this is the shadow ball look how much those bullet punches did and it is the shadow ball the shadow side door does go down here really unfortunate that uh wow ggs Jim corn went down with that mud bomb energy and discharge uh that could have flipped the game maybe but i really like i really like that game that was that was really close nice Lots of back and forth there, wasn't there? Yeah. Damn, here, let me hide him real quick. Two bullet punches away from the next Night Slash, which would definitely KO the Frost Slash there. Damn, GG's Tenrixen, by the way. Well played. Yeah, that was crazy. I was like watching that. I'll yeah, try and do mine. Fantastic. Dun did them coming out with uh, some Pokemon you, you will see a lot in the other situations. Polyrath and Frost Slash, very strong Pokemon. And then kind of anchoring with that Magneton. I feel like he believes Magneton is is quite a good mon against Jim Porn, if I if I were to guess. So he's going to probably be relying on that Magneton. Um, it, it just doesn't want to match up versus that uh Doug Trio, and I believe that's why Jim Corn actually did lead the Doug Trio to try to catch that Magneton in the lead because it has such a good matchup versus all of Jim Corn's Pokemon. So it's gonna be interesting to see if Jim Corn can line up that Doug Trio into the Magneton. So we're gonna get into game two. Here. Also, apologies, Rocksteady Girl, I accidentally backed out. Then I'm resending to you, my friend. All right, here we go. Sizer into Breloom. I feel like. This is uh, going to be closer just because Breloom is so squishy. But look at how much these neutral counters are doing. How much will this x Scissor do, though? It's neutral because Breloom is grass and fighting. So this is neutral. This is going to chunk. Breloom is so squishy. And it gets shielded. And he insta-swaps 
into the executor. Ooh. Does he kill him before he switches? No, he does switch before the second confusion animation. And in comes this polyrath, but this polyrath is just getting chunked. This alone executor is just confusioning the whole team here. Is is done did him triple weak the confusion here. I, I I'm surprised he snacked. He sacked the polyrath. He just completely sacked the polyrath. I don't know if that was a blind switch, but wow. This executor is putting in so much work. He's gonna get to one more seed bomb. This is gonna force a shield from the frost last, or it's gonna just probably almost kill it. And I believe it will get the shield. Can the frost last farm down? Powder snow does a decent amount of damage. No, it looked like it was the CMP there. Uh, so at this point, will the executor just let it go? He does let it go. Okay. And then now he can line up with the Sizor. And we saw last match how much these bullet punches are doing. I don't even know if he can get to the uh, Shadow Ball. He's one Powder Snow away. He doesn't even get to the Shadow Ball. Sizer just farms down. Jim Cord has two shields, a loaded Shadow Sizer, and a full Pokemon in the back, which is the Doug Trio. And this uh, just is versus a Breloom that's almost dead. Wow. 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 That wow. was crazy. Uh, that was insane, dude. Wow. Taking revenge there, going that definitely owning that second game. Good stuff, Jim Corn. Congrats. Well, let me hide you here. Just give me a second to do this move. That safe swap of Executor just proved to be really deadly. Uh, just completely destroyed the Polyrath and got gains a little bit of momentum going into the Frost last hand. Uh, wow, uh, great, great play by Jim Corn there. A uh, uh, real fun game three about to come. I love it when it comes down to this, Spurs, mate. When it's one victory each and we get a final match, always the most exciting way to do it. Me too. Agreed. And it's it's really interesting Dundinum didn't bring the Magneton there. He didn't bring the Magneton maybe because I was talking up about how good it was and, and he knew probably Jim Ford was going to be prepared for it. But just goes Those with the mind no games, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just goes with the no Magneton. But without Magneton, that Shadow Executor safe switch is just so safe. Nothing handles... The shadow executor safe switch except for the magneton so the with the magneton gone that shadow executor just destroyed and i like that from jim corn because if he's not running the shadow magneton right. that executor is going to destroy if he is running the shadow magneton he baits it out so great play by jim corn there and it's the shadow polyrath into the magneton he catches the magneton this is interesting because uh this magneton will get to the uh charge moves first these discharges are going to do so much damage and I have to believe that this Polyrath shield, yes, he has to shield. These discharges will do so much damage. But look how much just the mud shots are doing from the Polyrath. It's not even stab, but since it's double super effective against the Magneton, and this is a shadow Polyrath is doing so much damage. He's just going for the Ice Punch. He, he gets the shield on the Ice Punch. Look at how much damage these mud shots are doing. At this point, he can probably just shield and farm down. This is insane. I've never seen a, a move like Mudshot do more damage in my life. This is crazy. It's not even a high damage move. He could probably farm down. He's going to the farm down. Oh wow. my goodness. Now he's loaded with energy. He has switch advantage. And a dynamic punch or an ice punch would be quite quite threatening. Jim Corn has a quicker eye than me because I didn't see the typing of the Pokemon that came in, but he probably saw it. And it is the Frost Life. Oh, maybe not because he did get the shield. Interesting that he did go for the shield on that... Uh, Ice Punch, but look at this. He's getting straight to the Night Slash. Will a Night Slash one-shot a Frost Slash? Shadow Sizer probably does a ton of damage. Will it one-shot? This is going to be so close. It does. Oh, my, oh my gosh. The Shadow's just putting on a show. Now Polyrath uh, is not threatened by either of these uh, charge moves, I don't believe. So uh, at this point, the Polyrath really wants to uh, bank some energy to line up for Gen Corn's back mons. So how much is it going to farm down? Not too much. Is this the dynamic punch? If this is the dynamic punch, it will KO the Sizer. It is the dynamic punch. Ooh. And now we might see a regular Polyrath versus the Shadow Polyrath. Who's the better Pokemon? Red eyes or clear eyes? <laughs> Who are you guys rooting for? This dynamic punch is going to do a lot of damage. And it just takes out the opponent Polyrath with one more Mudshot punch. Wow. Great plays by Jim Corn there, taking it two to one. Dude, oh, GG's. Yeah, GG's. Wow, my games were tough then as well. I had a fantastic set of battles with Rocksteady Girl. She did take the last victory, but I did just manage to scrape two victories again. So, yes, I'm starting to come into my form Congrats. a little bit now.
Excellent. Red eyes well, wins. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, How welcome to stream, everybody. Battle? Taco, welcome Howdy. to the stream. You should definitely do the hey, next Hey, Taco. Big shout out to Taco. Let me get that in the chat. What's up, Taco? How did you get on in your battles this ta this round, Rob? I'm actually finishing up. Right now, me and uh, Tendrix are in a tiebreaker round. So I'm kind of nervous. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Oh, Ten Rickson as well. Fantastic battler. One of the auto wrecked champions, Ten Rickson. Very, very good. And also, is Sassafras one of the auto wrecked champions? So, this is a, a nice match, really. Both very good battlers. Almost wish we could see this uh, final matchup here on the screen. Um, yeah. The with Jim Corn, then, though, were brilliant. Jim Corn, thank you so much for coming onto the channel and featuring your games there. They were great. And Dude, like yeah, we real. said, it's good luck. It's good luck. He won. So if anyone else wants to show their POV, it's good luck to be on screen. Uh, Taco had just said earlier, possibly maybe playing the next Grunt Cup, getting back into it. Mate, it would be a pleasure to have you competing in the Grunt Cup. It's been so much fun again this time. We're having a brilliant time. I hope everyone who's joining in is loving it. Uh, it's a pleasure having Butters shoutcasting it, really, really getting the hype up and building up the energy. It's great that you're loving it, uh, Taco. Thanks so much for being here and watching. We would love to have you participate in the next one, my friend. Dude, absolutely. I am going to BRB and get myself another beverage, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, that's all right. One sec, Chimchar. I'm trying to battle. I know my uh, battle's not up on the screen, but... It's a really freaking close one. Oh my gosh. Yo, well played, Tendrix, and that was an amazing battle. Tendrix ended up taking the set for me too. Man, those were really crazy, insane battles. Yeah, but, um, yo, guys, welcome to stream. Um, Chimchar, if you want a good reference for Pokemon on what, what are good in Great League, I would recommend using PB Poke. It is a great website that will actually show you rankings and also matchups for Pokemon. So if you want to take a look in here, this will show you a lot of good Pokemon that are good in Grey League. Yeah, and, and also if you want to have a look at the, what Pokemon are good in the format that we're currently running, once you follow that link, you can press uh, next to where it says Grey League, you can press um, where it says all Pokemon and change it to Grunt Cup Season 6 so you can have a look at the meta that we're <clears> running right now. Oh, uh, how often do the Grunt Cups run? We do, we're, we try to do one, like lately we've tried to do one once a month. So this is our July Grunt Cup and we will probably have one for next month as well. We'll try to get that on the r roll. So yeah, that Taco, definitely you should totally come out and shout out to the Taco Truck. Oh, shit. Yeah, Taco, always sleeping when you're streaming. Taco, I know that grind, mate. I know that Taco <laughs> Thank you, shares a very Korn, by the similar way. body clock to me. It's all good, man. What a pleasure to have you in here right now, dude. All right, let me uh, skip these off for a momento. Bring the grunt cup back. I can uh, disconnect from you, Jim Corn. Thank you. And uh, who wants to come on the stream next, by the way? Let's take a look, actually, at what's going on in the tournament yeah, since this round. Like, I know I lost, so that's all I know. Uh, and I also know that Jim Corn won. So does that mean Jim Corn? Wait, should we keep Jim Corn on the stream, or should? Is Jim Corn going? Jim Corn's going undefeated right now. Yeah, technically. Like, that is quite exciting. King Fiend. Here, let's jump over here real quick. Oh, Drumwitch and Mercy Cola also retaining their uh, dominance. Bone Chip is still finishing their match. Bone Chip was interested as well about coming. Oh, uh, let me uh, report the fantastic matches. Fantastic person to have up here. Yeah, Bone Chip would be awesome. He's at the top of the bracket right now too. Oh, Bone Chip, mate! When you finished up, if you're happy with that, let's do it. Hell yeah. Golden Statesman in here. Sounds good. I believe that's another streamer as well, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Big shout yeah. out to Golden Statesman. Another streamer. Another fantastic individual as well. Really lovely person. Make sure you go check out their stream as well. It's great to have so many of our, like, of the streamers here from Pokemon Go participating in the Grunt Cup. I think this is probably the most streamers we've had playing in the tournament. And I hope you're all enjoying it as well. And hopefully you start to get, like, practice matches on the go. 
in your own streams and stuff when we announce the next meta. And let's try and make next Grand Cup even more fun, even bigger than this one's been, because they really are picking up pace now. Hope everyone's loving it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, definitely a challenge, but also fun at the same time. It's a very fresh approach. And since we don't like beat you over the head with it, like you have like one tournament. It's like, yeah, you know? Yeah, you, it, it all comes down to one tournament each month. And a lot of these Pokemon have been featured since the very beginning. Like Golbat has been there since the very first Grunt Cup. And he still just, he still gets play. We, we always follow a story with our metas as well. So like we always have a reason as to why we've chosen the Pokemon that we chose. Grunt Cup was originally based on classic Team Rocket Pokemon. So nothing to do with the grunts in Pokemon Go. It was based on the anime and red and blue. So the original video games, the anime and Pokemon Stadium. And it was all the Pokemon that you classically saw those, those Team Rocket grunts using. We then progressed and we've had different metas. We had a meta where you had to basically you were at your challenge as a grunt was to steal a starter pokemon and we ran one kanto starter in everyone's squad which was really fun this season it's all the protagonists all the villainous leaders and their teams are now accepted into this tournament yeah we pretty much like tried to pick like a couple from each generation that were like representative of that leader that's why you're seeing like a lot more variety in the generational pool here like Skuntank making an appearance, like Z Guzma, we have like Drapion, Gaidus, I think it was the one that had Cordilli. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much just like, still kind of retaining that like grunty vibe. Wow, there's a Shadow Electivire there on Riff Raff's team. Yeah. That's really cool to see. <laughs> Yeah, they're actually, these battles are hard because there's a lot of a way, there's so many approach, there's so many ways you can accomplish a pretty threatening team in this meta. You know, it's like insane, but it doesn't always mean the highest threat is the best. It's like the combos, like the, the, the three that people run a lot together. Like yeah, there's so many, so many weird lines, like that line that Jim Corn took to like just farm down the, the Magneton, like that. That's crazy, and I bet there's like so many other weird nuanced lines that you could like mess around with in Cup, which is gonna be exciting to see like when we get some more uh, battles coming up. Absolutely. I wonder how the Pokemon Wobbuffet. I'm surprised we're not seeing. Oh, Wobbuffet is a Pokemon we're, we're only seeing a couple of, and also Marowak, a Pokemon which did look as if it was gonna be quite a big threat in this meta, hasn't really showed up in many of the teams. Yeah. I've seen it only a couple times. King Fiend is running it, I believe. In the couple King of the Fiend people that are in the high, the high brackets are running it. Yeah. I mean, like, the Doug Trio is doing work, but I think the main thing is you need that legacy move, and you need in the coverage. Yeah. Ground yeah. Rock is such good coverage in Pokemon. It hits so much for neutral or super effective. I mean, what's, a, what's the spiciest team here? What would be the... Sp what well, would be considered the spiciest? I mean, Masquerine. Mocha's gone. It might. Jim Corn with the Nidorino is pretty spicy for sure. What? Yeah. Nidorino, Nidorino and Doug Trio and on the same team is is really nice. Like that's super spicy. And to be doing so well with the team as well. Yeah, I mean, it's actually kind of crazy. I mean, like, yeah. wait, so, someone else has the Doug Trio. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wonder, they have, they're running two ground types. Wow. So there's that Marowak as well as the Doug Trio in that matchup as well. And Celio in there alongside Polyrath as well. Yeah, Jim Corn. And also those real threats, the Credilly and Toxicroak. We see a lot of those in this uh, this meta. Hmm. Yeah, I think like Jim Corn might actually have like the spiciest. I mean, this is pretty spicy too. Alakazam. Kangas Khan and Crawdon. What, what team is that? The Kangas Khan and Crawdon are the same team. Wait, where, where was that? Oh, Kangaskhan is a tough Pokemon to Did run. Did I just pass it? Oh, here it is. Popcorn running Crawdon and Kangaskhan. That's spicy, for sure. And Kangaskhan as well, it's another Pokemon that maybe it's got uh, uh, legacy moves on. Because Stomp and Brick Break are both legacy, aren't they? Interesting. I'm glad you guys are having fun. I hope they Elite TM the Stomp. That would just make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Genghis Khan is a mud slapper, which is it's so it's pretty much acting the role as a ground type on their team. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I it's, like. It's I actually, always like Kangaskhan in the Grunt Cups. I think it's, it's actually, actually underrated. Quite a big move. Yeah, it's got quite a big move pool. Looking at it right now, it can have Stomp, Brick Break, Crunch, Earthquake, Outrage, and Power Punch as its yeah. moves. So it is a big move pool. Plus, Just, you can um, ramp up with Power Punch. Yeah, definitely. Power Punch is probably the move that is the least recommended, but the move I see most regularly when people do do. Um, Sort of Kangaskhan plays because they're trying to buff those mud slaps. Look at look at that team with Arcanine, Alakazam, and Middle Queen. You you say you like Gen One, Max. Look at yeah. that team. Yeah, I was saying this one definitely oh, looks yes. really spicy. The Garters team. I think the the Shadow Sky I, lo I lost. I lost to that team in the first <laughs> round of Grunt Cup. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. You were if just I'm in awe. Majority of the yeah. Gen One brilliance that you just, yeah, just yeah. let them win. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Letting him win. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> You're like, this team deserves a victory. What am I going to stand in its way for? Definitely. Damn. Hopefully, how's Garda been getting on so far in the tournament after defeating me? Hold on. Let me, they re let me refresh this oh. to see where everyone's at, by the way. Let's see where we're at on our next... Okay, we're actually just waiting on one more battle. Um, okay. Awesome. The Garda lost to Before Dawn... Okay. Beat me and then has lost, but just lost to before dawn right now. Or oh yeah, beat me in round two and then round one. Damn guys! Oh the king fiend, who is still very much at the top of this list here. So you don't need to feel bad about Ooh. that one. Bone ship got the victory. So are we gonna get a bone ship POV now? Oh man, bone ship trying to get vengeance, but we have this. We have a couple real contenders here. I mean, everyone yeah. who's sitting here we right really now do. are all like threats right now. So, I'm really curious to see how we move forward. Who wants to be on the stream next? Should we put? I think Bone Chip said that they were up for it. So, I mean, as long yeah, as Bone they Chip, are... we can put your perspective. That sounds great. Uh, do you want to DM me your your code, by the way, because we can start getting that uh, set up if you're into it. Let We're only see. waiting for the outcome of one more game here as well. Combo yeah. Cash against uh, Beamer. Hopefully you guys are having a great battle. So Bone Chip, how, how do you feel? You want to come on the stream? Uh, also, once again, Let me as I said at the start, remember guys, if you want to join the voice channel and chat with other people who are, co are competing and stuff, you can go into the Discord and join the Grunt Live Chat voice channel and hang out with each other. Yeah, people are hanging out there right now. By the way, let me um reset the Zoom call before it okay, just yeah, no automatically worries. does it. One sec. Bone chip once in. That's great. All right, cool, man. Just DM me your, uh, your share code or whatever. And we're almost done with the next battle, the last battle of that round. So I'm probably going to use the restroom real quick, get some more water. We'll see if everyone's done. And we'll pretty much just start the next round. We'll get Bone Chip up here for some another amazing battles. Definitely, I'm trying to focus on my battles while uh, Butters is focusing on the show cast. And damn, it is uh, these battles that people are having on stream are definitely really interesting. Okay, I have them invited. Let me get them in here. Then I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Get more water. Hope everyone's having a good time. Thanks for coming out and supporting the Grunt Cup, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm using the free version of Zoom. So, yeah, I don't... I'm, I could pay for it, but what do I look like paying for Zoom? When you can have it for free? All right, I think we have... I'm back here, guys. All right, cool. Yeah, but it's back as well. Actually, I can just keep you guys up like that temporarily. I'm gonna use the restroom. No worries, yeah, mate. Good. I just realized. How's everyone oh, in chat doing? Are you guys enjoying your battles? You guys having a fun time so far? Okay. I'm personally having a great time. How are you finding the matches, Buzz? Have you been enjoying the commentary, Nate? Or have you been enjoying doing the commentary? 
Yeah, definitely. definitely. I've been loving hearing it. It's been fantastic. It gives me so much energy, even when I'm <laughs> even when I'm doing my own battles. Listening to your hype makes me believe I can do it. <laughs> I'm like ready for it. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's it's a bit different because usually I'm a little more familiar with matchups. Yeah. And so it's like kind of exciting because I really don't know like a what's gonna happen. B I don't even know what they should do a lot of the times. <laughs> We're like, I, I like that though. I mean, yeah. it's exciting, isn't it, for us all because we get to see all this spice which you're not, we're not used to, and like that's so exciting to see Bone Chip saying I had 18 heart attacks my last <laughs> round. <laughs> oh no! I, I find them really fun because like it's it always surprises me uh, each game. Like it feels like each game I'm getting surprised, and yeah, that keeps it fresh. So definitely, I like definitely. I hope everyone has been having a similar experience. And um, the message is so fast, absolutely it is. That is something which we've kept up c consistently with the Grunt Cups, is the speed of the games. Yeah. yeah. Very scary, lots of fast move play. You need to be very quick on your switches. Um, I always, if, if someone's joining in for the first time, one of my big recommendations is use your shields because you don't always get opportunities to use them both because the games can be so quick it's over, over before you know it. Yeah, it, it, it's so true. And yeah, it definitely like it, it makes it scary. Phone chip, say, talking about his 18 heart attacks, it definitely makes it scary. So uh, I agree with, with Max. You just, you gotta throw those shields up and hope for the best. But the, the, the cool thing is if you could like, like matrix style slow it down and be composed yeah in this, in this super fast meta then you could really pull off some awesome stuff that that is it isn't it of course rock steady girl i'll do it right now mate uh brutism as well you burn shields uh, so quick due to how quickly the fast moves are and the matches are very close yet yeah, they they often come down to that last one hp in a dream don't they i dm'd you on discord rock steady girl <laughs> yeah, bone chip. Use your shield to get him early. I promise it won't backfire. Yeah, that is that is the thing because like you know, uh, there are some closers in this meta. There's a frost last. There's a lolan muck. There's some quite good closers with some bulk. So uh, yeah, you still you still definitely got to be careful. It, it, it's not necessarily remember remember the meta where like there was like more razor leapers and uh, I don't know like some charmers also like that was crazy too. Yeah, the Razor Leaf used to be just so, oh. such a hard hitting move, isn't it, Razor Leaf? If, especially if you're getting in, in a favorable matchup, you can shred something with it. It is really, really scary. One, it, something I was going to ask and what I was wondering is, remember we were talking about the potential of Exeggutor running um, uh, Bullet, Bullet Seed Seed? rather yeah. than Confusion? I wonder if anyone has actually brought that because I ended up swapping mine back to Confusion for the uh, tournament. Okay, we have a slight issue here, guys. Uh, Beamer has not responded to uh, Combo Cash for their battle. It is the last battle we're waiting on. Um, yeah, if, if they haven't responded at this point, I think we'll give them a loss. Yeah. Beamer, oh, should, we, should, should we just remove them? Well, Beamer, if you're there, could you please respond is in that, the channel? Is that Rick and we'll give you a loss for this one, I guess. I would just please respond in the channel if you are here, Beamer. Otherwise, we will have to remove you, unfortunately. We want to get on with this next round here as... Sass was saying at the start, it's go fest tomorrow, guys. Lots of people are all from different places in the world, but lots of people want to get to sleep at a reasonable time so they can get out and play all 10 hours tomorrow. And good luck, by the way, to everyone who is participating in go fest tomorrow. I am super hyped about it. I hope you all are too. Okay, so um, I'd say we just uh, remove them and move on. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. Sass? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I think um, we just have to remove him because he's not yeah. really responding. Yeah, I, I see your screen. Rocksteady Girl has messaged them individually as well. Thanks so much, Rocksteady Girl. Yeah, let me uh, remove Guys, him if you are having issues with any of the battles or if you're having issues in whatever sense, you can speak to Rocksteady Girl in the Discord as well as trying to message in the chat. It might be easier to message Rocksteady Girl in the Discord and uh, she can help out. She can talk to us as well. Yeah. Uh, she's moderating there for us. All right, guys, give me a sec to remove him, and then we'll start the next set. Having a lot of issues with what, Bone Chip? Your heart, mate. <laughs> Can she be my therapist? Ask her. <laughs> One moment.
Memento, please. Max, so how how long from now does your GoFest start? All right, guys, you guys ready for the next round? It starts in ooh about eleven Oops. hours from now. Okay, all right, you got plenty of time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't mean to be covering them up like that, or did I? Find out. All right, let me bring up Bone Chip here. Chipper, Bone Chipper. Sorry about that, guys. Just talking to my girlfriend there. Whoa. No worries. What the? I I'm hyped, but I'm also stressed because I, I I don't want to miss out, but it's gonna be like twenty hours. Like I can't play for twenty hours. <laughs> Man, yeah, I'm, it's kind of so crazy. To, what, how how are you planning to play it? Um, guys, so Butters and Rob, like, what you what your plans for GoFest? I might do one stream, like, from my house, like, just mm -hmm. using incense. But I, one of the days yeah. I kind of wanted to, like, not stream and just kind of play, but I don't know what that, to do. Maybe by car. That's my plan. My plan is day one, I'm going to London, central London, I'm going to 10 hours, head in my phone, not speaking to anyone, grinding <laughs> constantly. Right, and then day the two, round. I'm going to do a stream as well and do it stationary with incense and hang out. And it'll be good to like sort of compare the two days then as well and see what the experience is, how different they are. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I think I'm gonna like in the morning, I'll go out with my dog, like walk around, have like kind of a chill grind, and then I'll find out like whatever thing is spawning. I'll probably set up like- Bird watching how I'm facing. I have like a Nova bot thing, like a bot to like try to help me find good PVP. Give me a second, so I'll probably set that up once I know what's spawning and try to get some good stuff. Probably do a little nice. chasing. Probably yeah, do a little excellent chasing and then once i did a little chasing like that afternoon slash like evening i'll probably like grind hard um bone chip versus rc cola places sounds great but it's mate we have bone chip versus rc cola in this round let me uh change the title bone it's actually gonna be a lot less stress all right so i i'm not gonna lie like i want like a stardust bonus but if it's if it's not a stardust bonus, it'll be so much less stressful. To me. Yeah, I get you. You feel you feel obligated to catch literally as much as you physically can with the yeah. stardust bonus, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And Man, if yeah, there's insane. no bonus, it's probably worse for me. But mentally, I could just pick and choose what I want to go for, and then that would be fun. Yeah, and I mean, you can also do gotcha play. I encourage everyone if you can't. That's you know, what I was doing on Gasly Day. I was like passed out, just like hitting my. Yeah, if you can't, if you if you're working, you can't play properly. Make sure you've got a Go Plus or a Gotcha or something which can actually still do some work for you. They pick up a lot of good stuff, guys. Yeah. You play a full day on the Gotcha or the Go Plus, and you have a look back over the. Here, I'll uh, hide you real really quick. Really surprised with what I've picked up. Why you get situated? You bring up our opponent's teams here. I, Ooh, I don't. I don't know time. before dawn. I don't know what the bonus will be. I don't know. I honestly didn't read any of the news, so I, I'm kind of just, it's going to be like drug pump. It's going to be fresh and exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I quite like approaching things like that, though. You know, yeah. I love I'm going to add you, Bird Watcher. When I was a TCG streamer, I never looked at the cards before the before I opened them myself. So everyone would always be looking at the scans of the cards before they were released to like learn the new moves and stuff. But I loved seeing the artwork and seeing them for the first time when you open the packs and you know get excited about it. Same with GoFest, isn't it? You know, I haven't really looked up much about what's going to happen because I want to enjoy it and be like, Pog Champ, you know, I'm really excited awesome. as it happens. Now I just want to build like a a TCG deck and then face you one day in person. That would be fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> mate. That would be amazing. I'd love that, dude. Have you played much of the TCG at all? No, it's gonna be really fun because you're gonna destroy me, and then you're gonna be <laughs> the real. You're gonna be the real PvP yes. monster, Max. <laughs> Although my nickname back when I did play the TCG very regularly was Misplay Monster Max. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Andrea joining us. Sasshole, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thanks Yo, for Sasshole, great to have you. Sounds good, uh, uh, Bird Watcher. Good luck as well to you. Hope, hope uh, you. Victor Vanderslog is my battler as well. Victor, if you don't mind sending over the battle, that would be awesome. Good luck, mate. Who, who, do, you, who do you guys have this, this, this round? Me, for me, it's Victor van der Slog. Ooh. Another streamer. Who are you battling this round, Rob? Uh, I'm facing Birdwatcher Hawk. Ooh. Wow. 
bring it on that's awesome all right so we're getting into bone chip versus rc cola we yeah, have bone chip him. with the slow bro sizer cradilly toxic rope frostlass alolan muck versus rc cola with the cradilly toxic rope frostlass seeking haunter muck okay so these are some powerhouse mods so this is a uh, a little less spicy but it's gonna be a lot more interesting because or not more interesting but it's gonna be very interesting because it's gonna be a lot how you manage your shields manage your switch advantage and uh i know bone chip says his team is all closers so i'm really excited to see this matchup and i'm interested if seeking is the waterfall variant i want to think Wait, what? Uh, it has a chance to be poison jab cause... Wait, what happened did it stop i'm sorry did the screen is it still working for you, Bone Chip? Oh yeah, there's a message on it. It's like teething problems here, guys. Oh, it disconnects. Uh, okay. Let me try to connect again. Hopefully they're not in battle, but... Uh... It says there's already a connection to the device. No, it's okay. Um... If it's like an overlay or something, it can, it, it can accidentally happen sometimes as well. Yeah. I would actually be happy if that was a waterfall. Oh yeah, you can't record. That might have been the issue. Oh, yeah. okay. He, he, yeah. You might have actually tried to record. Yeah, don't worry. We can see your match. You know what I mean? It'll be on the stream. We can always watch it back. Yeah, I think the issue was... Here, let me disconnect real quick. Hold on. Yeah, every time... If you're ever using mirroring software, guys... Um, it won't allow you to mirror your, if it's via Wi-Fi or a cellular connection You'll only be able to mirror what's happening on, on your phone screen You can't use overlay apps and you won't be able to record your phone screen at the same time as well It will always crash it. Okay, got it Hopefully this doesn't affect your match, dude. I'm sorry Because they were locked in right? Yeah, I think, I presume we probably had, we might have missed one of the games here, guys, is it, but... Uh, is it working right now? Okay. Wait, why does it have that? I don't know. That's weird. What? That is weird. It's like working, but it shows that. Huh. Maybe you guys need to reconnect again? Like, I don't know. If it's still, if, if, uh, Bone Chip's I think I got battle, it this time. Bone okay, in battle, he's still screen recording, so it still won't accept it. I got it this time. It, it's, it should work this time. Okay. All right, we got it. So, Bone Chip, did we miss game number one, or did you kind of force close your app so that uh, you guys can have it on stream? I think he force closed it. I know RC Cole is not watching right now, because I saw that he said he's uh, minimizing, so maybe... Yeah. He dipped. Okay, good. All right, so this will be game number one. That is awesome. Okay. One sec, Bird Watcher. Let me exit. Of... Okay. Well, let me uh, hide him. And then once he locks in, I will, you know, let you all see. All right, this is going to be really exciting. Two undefeated competitors two fantastic battlers with two really balanced teams so i i'm i'm really looking forward to this i i don't know why but sea king looks so good to me for some reason but it's not gonna like the crawdilly for sure and it's kind of squishy so i don't even know how much it likes toxicrope when you are running the waterfall but um the fact that it can resist the bullet punches uh is, is kind of interesting and how much would that waterfall just add up on like frost less and rolling bug i'm just i'm personally just kind of interested to see it play but we'll see what we get we get the game number one we get the frost last into the talk to crow fantastic lead here from uh bone ship so he's gonna look to, he's, he's staying in at this point mud bombs will do a little bit of damage and uh these counters are not doing much at all. A little bit choppy here. Oh, and it is the Sea King. I, we get to see it. I'm really excited to see this. So uh, I didn't quite see if it was the Waterfall or the Poison Jab. I think it was the Poison Jab. Uh, the Legacy version uh, is the Poison Jab version. So it looks like Frostlass is just happy to stay in there and get some more Powder Snows. And if this is the drill run, though, 
this will be super effective, but it could just be the icy wind. Uh, either way, it's a good move here. It is a drill run, super effective. It takes about 70% out of this uh, Alolan Muck's health, but at this point, the Sea King does need to land an icy wind to kill the Alolan Muck because these poison jabs are resisted uh, by the Alolan Muck here, and this Dark Pulse is gonna chunk. So how does he play this? Does he go ahead and shield this? No, he lets it go. And now this Icy Wind should KO the Muck. I don't think the Sea King is in farm down range. He's going to go for the shield. Interesting. He's going to go for the shield and just get to his next Dark Pulse. Uh, in one more Snarl, he gets that Dark Pulse. Is he going for a farm down? That's crazy. And he... Oh my god, he died with energy. The quick switch by the opponent by RC Cola into the Toxic Croak and killed that Muck with energy. That's crazy. And now the Frost Slash comes back in. The Mud Bomb will be shielded he shields the mud bomb here he wants to close this game with frost slash bone chip thinking frost slash is his best option to close this game he is gonna get to i believe the, the uh avalanche here it is the um cheaper move and toxic Growth does have a shield and he does shield their sides are in the back sizer doesn't want to see this toxic Growth. so he will survive this mud bomb he will survive this mud bomb will he get to another avalanche and will RC Cola try to switch it? Will he get to the Avalanche? He doesn't try to. He switches into Sizer. Sizer's taking these neutral uh, counters and it's going to take a neutral Mud Bomb as well. Sizer's not too tanky. It's going to do a lot. Sizer cannot farm down. Bone Ship is in a lot of trouble here. Sizer is almost dead and he has to go for the Iron Head here. The Iron Head will take out the Toxicro. Bone Ship's only play here is if Frost Slash is able to get to either an avalanche or a shadow ball and if that avalanche or shadow ball is able to one shot a cordelia which is probably not going to happen does he get the avalanche he gets the avalanche but God's dead with energy too. only way to win this game if it one shots a cordelia here we go the avalanche biggest avalanche of your life not enough super effective but cordelia holds on and actually gets to um a power whip here i believe and we'll ko the frost last that or grass knight sorry and wow what damn that was insane ggs pretty insane what a game so the big thing there was the biggest moment of that game was RC Cola quick switching the Tox Broken, landing those counters, and oh, wow. the Alolan Muck of Bone Ship dying with about a Dark Pulse in a quarter or Dark Pulse in a half. A lot of energy going to waste there. Great play by RC Cola. <clears throat> Let me turn off white picks and then I'll put them back on. All right, game number two of two undefeated players here. That was so close in the end that Frost Slash almost got to that KO. That Prodili was about 10% health. So um, if Bone Chip didn't die with that energy, that game would have been a toss up there. So let's see how they adjust in game number two. And um, the yeah, Toxic Growth was actually pretty impactful for RC Cola. Let's see the Sizer lead into the Crawdilly. I don't know this matchup at all, but it has to be good for the Sizer because these super effective bullet punches on this rock pipe. And the only thing Crawdilly can do is go ahead and throw that stone edge for neutral damage. So uh, a Sizer probably won't appreciate that, but these Iron Head just destroys, he no shields it. And is this the stone edge? And he lets it go. I don't even know if he's that stone head, stone edge energy, is it? It is. It does so much. Wow. They just both don't shield, but the Sizer is able to farm down. We'll have a little bit of energy for the next Pokemon. In the Toxic Rogue, he gets a little quick Night Slash off. Couldn't get to the Iron Head quite in time. Now this Toxic Rogue is going to get a little bit of energy, but does Bone Chip have an answer for the Toxic Rogue? Wow, Night Slash does a decent amount on the Toxic Rogue, no matter what. Oh my god, he has the Slow Bro. That does answer the Toxic Rogue. And the Frost Slash, and he's just staying in here because he has two things in the back good versus toxic rope so he doesn't mind matching it up with slowbro or the frost Slash, but the slowbro is much more uh dominant but this is such a poker game is it the is it the shadow ball it's the avalanche bait he lets it through what a call 
bone chip with the huge call there letting the avalanche go through with the two shields it's not very effective and now he's going for the shadow ball himself oh my god if this goes through the two shields this is just gonna be a steamroll no it does get shielded and now uh rc cola does have the shield disadvantage and at this point he is kind of in avalanche range but it looks like he's just gonna let the avalanche go again because I think he believes that two shields with Slowbro wins this game no matter what. He can just farm down the Frost Slats with Confusions and use his shields on the Shadow Balls and then just destroy the Toxic Rope. Double super effective Confusions is just going to delete this Toxic Rope. So at this point, the Toxic oh, Rope wow. does come in trying to get one shield. The Toxic Rope is trying to get to a move. It's just a Mud Bomb. I don't see any way Bone Chip shields this. Bone Chip, great call great counting he lets the mud bomb go oh it's a sludge bomb oh my god it's the sludge bomb somehow he got the sludge bomb energy that's really surprising to me and at this point could he die to powder snows can he die to powder snows i don't think so it's going to be really close they're not very effective maybe with the new update but oh my goodness <laughs> this avalanche is going to get shielded wow. but look at the health on these mons i think the frost last is one confusion away the slow bro should be able to do one confusion oh and take my the gosh. victory wow wow insane Yo, Ada, welcome to the stream. Another incredibly close hype game, guys. Brilliant stuff. That scissor wow. is using Fury Cutter before Don Fury says. Fury Cutter, not, uh, not uh, Bullet Punch. Good call. Bad casting and good call. <laughs> Damn, so they're in a tiebreaker match, right? Yep, game number three. Oh, Fury wow. Cutter, interesting. I'm so used to the Bullet Punch from uh, Ultra League or uh, Premier League. Interesting. Fury Cutter, super effective on the grass type of probability. Nice. I've just had three very, very close games. And if this Psychic does enough damage, I would have won the third one. But I did lose the other two. I won the third game and yeah. got the other two. But they were very close. All three games, insanely close. Down to the last Pokemon each. Red health each. Oh. Every single game. Really Sass, you, you might want to... Uh... If oh, oh, oh yeah, let me hide him real quick. Sorry, my bad. GG's to Victor there, mate. Oops. Three brilliant games. So they were in. so oh, yeah, they're incredibly in. close. My bad. At least you're picking up those game threes, Max. Yeah, and I mean, all three of those games I really loved. I enjoyed all of them. And when it gets awesome. down to like one or two fast moves left, for either of us and it's those super close games you know it's been a good a good set a good match and all three of them were proper nail biters they were fantastic games ggs that's, that's the best feeling when you can lose the game but still have fun so oh absolutely all right we got bone chip into rc cola uh we are locked in rc cola is waiting for his lock in right now game number three of the two undefeateds here um Oh, Bone Chip gave a little face. Bone Chip, if you want to force quit and then resin and then redo your lineup, there's yeah. no shame in that either. So if yeah, you want to force yeah, quit, then that's totally legit. I it was my bad. I was in the. Yeah. He was in game, so it's hard for him to do it. Yeah, it wasn't intentional. But yeah, I don't think RC Cole is watching the stream. But in okay. case he is a dirty Bone cheater. Bone Chip says Bone Chip says it's chill anyway, so no worries. Here we go. Okay, cool. Oh man. Okay, so we got the Fury Cutter, which is not resisted, uh, but these poison jabs are resisted by the Sizor. So this this uh, Sea King probably wants to get the heck out of here. The drill runs will be neutral, but it's not gonna like one shot the Sizor, and the Sizor is just gonna be ramping up damage with this Fury Cutter Night Slashes. So the Sea King is in trouble. These Night Slashes add up by Sizor. Sizor hits hard. This Metal Bug hits hard. This has, has to be either. Uh, I think it's just Icy Wind. It could be the Drill Run, though. If the Drill Run goes through, no, it's just the Icy Wind. This is resisted. So at this point, this Night Slash yeah, is threatening the KO onto the Sea King. Is the Sea King just going to sack this matchup? The Sizer is getting so much work in. It's really cool seeing a Pokemon like Sizer. No, the Shield does come through. And at this point, he needs to land a Drill Run to possibly win this matchup. Is he going to get to the Drill Run? If it's this Drill Run and it goes unshielded, he could win the Switch Bandage. But if it does go shielded, uh, oh my god, it is the drill run, but it does go shielded. And now at this point, uh, Scyther has time. He has time. Is it going to go for the farm down? No, he doesn't quite go for the farm down. He goes for the Night Slash, but easily wins this one shield. 
switch advantage versus the lead of C King here. So this is a great position for Bone Chip. Now, what comes in the back? It's a Frost Slash. Frost Slash is just going to be threatened by these Iron Heads or Night Slashes. So this Night Slash is coming through. Oh my goodness, this is going to be really tough. He doesn't have an answer for Sizer. And there goes the Night Slash. Will he get one more before the Avalanche? He gets the one more Night Slash. This Frost Slash has a shield or it's dead. Will will he just sack the Frost Slash too? No, he does shield. But can the Frost Slash ever farm down? I don't think so. Oh my good, goodness, the back line is pretty good versus... Oh no, the Alolan Muck comes in. Now this Alolan Muck is going to be threatened a lot by Avalanches. It takes two Avalanches to kill. And I don't think the Alolan Muck can outpace to get the two Dark Pulses. But we'll have to see. Oh, this is going to be very close. This is going to be so close if this Alolan Muck... If this Alolan... Oh, but he, he lets it go. He lets the Dark Pulse go and sacks the Frost Slash. Is he going to come in with Sizer? Oh my god, he could come in with Sizer and maybe finish off this Muck. If he comes in with Slowbro, it's just going to be resisted. He comes in with Slowbro. This is going to be really scary because if he throws the Dark Pulse and the Frost Slash has a confusion, it's possible for Arcicola to witness. Does he shield the Dark Pulse or does he let... He lets the Dark Pulse go! Wow! Oh my goodness, oh my he god. just lets it go and he's going to finish this game with... A Psychic? Is the Psychic gonna kill? Wow, the composure by Bone Ship. I can't believe he's just so content to let these big charge moves go, and the Psychic wins oh the game gosh. for Bone Ship. What plays there from Bone Ship. The composure wow. was unreal. Letting those moves go through. Two super effective charge moves going through. Well field. played. Flipping wow. that. Fantastic well game, played. guys. Great game. Uh, great composure to know that that Dark Pulse was gonna not KO and leave you with enough time to farm down and get to the Psychic. I don't know if that was your line or your line was to prepare to finish the game with Sizer, but uh, we were talking about earlier how this is fast paced and if you can Matrix style slow it down and, and be composed. Uh, yeah. We saw it. We saw it right there from Bone Chip. So fantastic play. That's what we expect from Bone Chip. Possibly gonna be the third Grunt Cup they might take. Bone Chip. Doing well here. Doing very well. My heart, again, another few heart attacks <laughs> being had during that battle. Minor okay, so. Cardiac incidents going on. We're fantastic. still. Oh, no, no. Keep talking, my bad. Fantastic. Just real quick. Fantastic plays by RC Cola, too. That oh, switch yeah. on the Toxic Rope to uh, delete the energy of Bone Ship, and I believe game number one, that was a high level quick switch. Uh, so, great plays by RC Cola, and I'm going to use the rest of them real quick. I'll be right back. What a brilliant game, guys. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, and dude. Well played to RC Cola as well. Another brilliant player. That was so exciting then, that last battle at the end. Oh, even my heart was beating super quick then, Bone Chip. Couldn't believe it the second time you didn't shit. The, the second time you didn't shield then on the slow, bro. Incredible. Knowing just knowing exactly how much health he's going to be left with, and enough to drop that uh, psychic right at the end onto the frost last. Brilliant play. Is there anything you want to show the stream, Bone Chip, in your game? Yo, yeah. so far, um, we're King Fiend is undefeated as well. So, so far we see Bone Chip and the King Fiend. So these are our contenders currently. Um, bam! For some reason, I doesn't want to show Max. Is uh, how's Jim Corn getting as well? Jim Corn's still in the battle, and it's against Grumwich as well. I bet that is a very exciting game too. Yeah, Grumwich. It is, it's almost a shame we can't watch them all, isn't it, Rob? Because I'm sure we've got so many fantastic battles going on right here. I'm sure lots of you are super sweaty right now. Oops. Uh. Bone Chip has purified a total of nine Pokemon. You want to keep those shadows. We'll have to restart the Zoom call soon. Why is it staying yeah, on? No worries. It's... Speak up. I don't know what it's staying. I don't know what it's staying on, but I think it's just um, glitched or a settings being changed. But when we restart the Zoom call, <sighs> what a day, I'm guys! Right. Go fast right. tomorrow. Lurking in the shadows as well, so that's not a problem. Go fish tomorrow. 
Go fest after that. Go fest forever. Go fest. We need a Pringle. Wow, that look at that Skimori there from Bone Chip. What rank is that, mate? That's got to be incredibly high. Top hundred, top fifty, I'd say. Rank Skimori, shiny there. That is awesome. Beautiful Pokemon. Which one do you have? Which Shadow Legendary? Two shiny Voltorbs as well. Jealous. Have you ever evolved one, Bone Chip? No if go. not, mate, get Welcome. ready for the peer pressure. If you've never evolved the shiny Voltorb, now is the time, mate. Evolve it. Evolve it. <laughs> Naming the Voltorb after Butters there as well. Love it. Yay. Yeah, Butters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you, anyone has those Pog Champ ele Electros, let's see him. One of the best <laughs> emotes as well, mate. It really is fantastic, that Electro. Thank you. I love it. Oh. Mocha, good to see you. Sorry we couldn't see your shadows today, but... Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, Mocha, how are you doing? We're, we missed the Shadow Squad. We missed the Shadow Spice. We, we've already mentioned it. At the start of the tournament, we're like, let's have a look at Mocha's team, and you weren't here. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Mocha. No worries. Ooh, look at wow. when, is your next, when is your next stream, Butters? Are you planning to do any GoFest content, or...? Are you going to be doing just battles at some point? No, I think, um, yeah, I'm going to just try to play the Go Fest. No stream on the Go Fest, then probably stream on Monday. Is Monday the the new season for GBL? Yeah, it starts on Monday. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably be streaming Monday then. Do you think Ooh, the game will... Night. The game seems to be functioning all right today, like, in our battles. Mm -hmm. Do you think, like, for uh, Monday, like, I don't know. Like I'm excited about the changes, like the nerves. might be a, it might be a little bit laggy on Monday because of the amount yeah. of people who will want to start playing right at the start of the season. So do take into account, guys, if you're excited to get involved in GBL, a lot of people will be playing it as soon as the season's released. So that is the time where you're going to experience lag. If you can hold off on your sets a little bit, maybe that might help. Maybe try running a practice match against the trainer uh, before you do your GBL set. So if you're if you're really bothered about uh, you you know you're passionate about it and you want to do it as best you can you don't want the lag to be affecting your gameplay, try battling against one of your friends on your friends list or try going into a stream here on Twitch and battling against one of the streamers to see how the game is running at that particular time and if it's pretty smooth then you can be confident to go for your battles because no one likes that GBL lag. We're just looking at Bone Chips collection. And and honestly, like I might be lucky, but I don't run into that much lag in GBL. The thing mm. that uh, exists that exists for everyone is the desyncing of fast moves and those desync CMPs and then the CMP yeah. switches. It well, CMP, like that. CMP switching is uh, is now being taken out of the game. With the next update, which is being released very soon, they've said it's being removed. That's That's so awesome. now if you get, um, awesome. if you both charge to a move, they're both going to hit the Pokemon it's intended to hit. You can no longer switch out, so it hits the Bit. Yeah, like, a, awesome. like a, they, they switch. Like, if you get the move off first, he just yeah. switch to the counter, and it's like, what the fuck, Absolutely. dude? Yeah. And, like, uh, uh, when that first started happening, people just accepted it as part of the game, but it isn't supposed to be. So, yeah. um. Yeah, it drastically it changes be. matches. Like, Definitely. Like, I Definitely. had someone switch in a Snorlax on Shadow Ball that was intended for a Giratina, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like are you kidding me? Yeah, like, yeah. I wanted, like. It's like shit like that is what makes it yeah. like why am i playing this yeah it's very infuriating so it, it's good to know that that's been fixed yeah i'm it, excited it, it's really hard because like the top players like know it's a feature too so i know like certain times where like i faked an ice beam on Azu, them switching and then they've banked like a sky attack on altaria and like so that altaria farms down my pokemon i instantly press the ice beam but i lose cmp and so they get the sky attack and then they switch they switch to their next Pokemon to like Azu and it's just a waste of an ice beam. Yeah. yeah, it's so 
I like base people who are like YouTubers in GBL that actually like use the CMP sw switch on me. And I'm like, man, I'm salty people. as hell. But like, yeah, people are they're using the CMP yeah. switch as a as an end game a lot of the time, you know. As a it's like that you like yeah. when people start playing dirty like that, and it's like I don't know. I, I it's a part of the game. It? I've done it. Like oh, I've done it. I, it's I've a part of the game, it. realistically. Yeah, 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 like yeah, you, yeah. you are right. It's not like yeah. they're like cheating, like in a yeah, way. Yeah, it's not no, cheating. Yeah. Totally, totally. I'm like, glad they're, they're they are just, out. It's just annoying. But, yeah, it is annoying, anything. yeah, and I think it's going to be better this way yeah. without it being in the game. But I also took advantage of it as well. Oh yeah, I, we all did. And I think you'd be silly not to. You know, yeah. if you if you have the opportunity to, you win the CMP matchup, and you have the opportunity to switch into a Pokemon which is going to absorb the move. Thanks, why Coop. would you not do that? It's Thanks, definitely Coop. the right thing to do. Definitely. But it Coop must be a good friend of yours. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, maybe we need to reset the Zoom call as well, Rob. Yeah. Um, sure. I'll be right back as well, guys. All right, so let's see how the rounds are going. How, where are we at, real quick? Um, let me reset this Zoom call. One second. Let us refresh. Okay, we're waiting on, it looks about like one more match. And bam. We can move on to the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me invite them back into the Zoom call. And we will go from there. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out to the stream today. Um, hope everyone's doing well. <clears throat> You're glad they brought it back, if only for a little bit. <laughs> I just came back from my match where we picked the exact same three Pokemon in the exact same order, but ha I had less attack, so I lost CMP interactions, and I tried to be tricky and weasel my way out of it by switching, but I couldn't. <laughs> it's funny. Um, let's see. Okay, welcome back, Butters. Hey man, oh, it looks like Jim Cord is glad they had the CMP switch, so he's not gonna like the update, I guess. So. He likes it. Hey, I mean, enjoy it. Honestly, if you use a lot of Pokemon with like like high attack stats, then like I know, for example, I was using in Continentals, like when I was practicing a lot, I was using a lot of Snorlax, Dragonite, and like they spam. Dragon Claws and Body Slam so much, it was it was so fun just like switching around and like catching so many CMP switches. It was kind of fun against the bulkier stuff, but I don't know. I, I personally am not a fan of the CMP switch. I feel like if you do something at the same time, it should it should just interact at the same time. Yeah, because then, then you're punished for just having the lower like attack stat, which doesn't really make sense as a mechanic, because it's like you're already punished by having the lower attack stat by going second. And then you're punished again because they could just switch out of it. So I don't like the double punish. I like the single punish. I'm sorry, Mocha. Yeah, we. I tried to let people know heads up yesterday too. Just a reminder that Grunt Cup was today. What did you make, Mocha? Which new shadows did you make? Porygon Z, I bet. Oh, uh, yeah. Imagine the Porygon Z. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine all the Porygon Z <laughs> beaming for today. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We're just waiting on M Luck and I think, um, Brutism. So. After their matches are concluded, we can actually jump on to round five here. Let me see what we're what the tournament's looking like, because I mean we got Bone Chip, King Fiend, and Jim Corn undefeated. Man, Jim Corn's coming for that Grunt Cup. I think we might keep Bone Chip on the stream if he's down. Bone Chip has a lot of good shadows, like those IVs for that Shadow uh, Shadow Dratini, and was that Shadow Snorlax? Those were amazing IVs. Or no, Shadow uh, Larvitar, sorry. 
Those are amazing. They just finished right now, Rocksteady Girl says. Awesome, we can probably just... If everyone's all ready after they report their match, we can just start the next round here. I just call Wild the Bomb this night. Thought that was pretty spicy to have. Oh, that is spicy. Oh, nice. Off of incense or just normal? No, just regular, just on the map. Wow. Home spawn. Wow. He, Max always has incense going, I hear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Legend has yeah, it. Non, non stop. To be honest, the last two times. It, it didn't happen last time. I was a bit disappointed what happened. But the, but the last two times before that, I've had shinies whilst being on your stream, Rob. Oh, yeah, it's, dude. I, just, I get shinies constantly. Like, every time he's like, yeah, you, you've definitely had some crazy luck. Maybe we'll get one. I, I, really, I, I am on a lucky streak at the moment. It, the game has been very kind to me. Let's hope that continues over this weekend. Go fest, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me re reload here and see if we are ready. Um, I think we're just waiting on them to report their matches. So, bam! Let's see. Max, how many shinies did you get in between community days? Like, in between your shiny beedrills and shiny, like, Gengars, how many shinies did you get? Let's have a look. Let us see. Uh, 19 shinies in between. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been insanely lucky recently. Yeah. Slackoff, Sneasel, Puchena, Alola Meow, Shell the Ponita, Shiny Shadow Muck, Houndor, another Sneasel, Alolan Rasta, uh, Alolan Volpix Satch, another Puchena, two, three, four Skamoris. Wow. Sorry, a uh, Wingull, Dwebble, and Oddish, all between the communities. Wow. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good uh, good little haul for me recently. I've been I got... very much enjoying dropping incense. <laughs> I got, got three. I got a a Alolan Meowth, a Zigzagoon, and a Yanma. <laughs> Still nice. That Alolan Meowth is a cool one to get, isn't it? Especially when they were yeah. spawning in the wild. It was nice to see a new Pokemon on the overworld. Yeah. yeah. I love it when we get new Pokemon on the overworld. And tomorrow, guys, we're going to be getting. Uh, some of the Alolan forms spawning for the first time on the map Ooh. as well, aren't we? Which is quite exciting. All right, so, we can uh, move on to round five if you guys yeah. are already. Is this the final round or is it six rounds? We have six rounds. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right, we got Bone Chip versus the King Fiend, Jim Corn versus Aaron WG21. Good luck and have fun, everybody. My favorite, my favorite British pronunciation. Of Pokemon is uh, Lapras. Lapras. Yeah, Lapras. Lapras. Yeah, Lapras. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. I, I said it instantly as well. Yeah, Lapras. Let's see. How do you say it? How do you say it again? I say Lapras. Like Lapras. Like, Lapras. like a Pris. Lapras. Yeah. 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 Lapras. R I S S. Yeah. Yeah. How do I how do you, say it? I'm like Lapras. How, how, do you say, how do you say it, Rob? How do you say it? I think I say Lapras. Yeah. Lapras. Lop. <laughs> oh, that was delightful, mate. You could have an audience with the queen, for sure. <laughs> Alright, go on, statesman. I'll send you hate mail. I mean, I'll send you the... Yes. Alright. We're getting into Bone Chip versus the King Fiend here. Two undefeated battlers... The King Fiend is running that Mud Slap Marowak. That's going to be really interesting. Also, the Lantern. That's a Pokemon we haven't seen as much today. The classic Crawdilly, Toxicroak, Frostlass. Very strong. And then the Lickitung, which is uh, not either not the greatest IVs or not powered up all the way. Landing at 1365 CP. It's probably enough. That thing's tanky anyway. Uh, that place. It's, it's, it's just pretty safe against everything, right? Everything except for probably the Toxic Rogue <laughs> and Sizer a little bit, but uh, just because Sizer resists the body slams, but otherwise the Lickitung is just so safe. It's such a safe mod if you get the fighter out of the way. So this is gonna be a really interesting matchup. Also two players that are undefeated, know their team, know how to use them. So should be a very good battle. 
I'm just going to take this brief pause here, guys, to offer you all a pro skills tip for tomorrow. Remember, they said that during the event tomorrow, there is going to be one of the features is going to be opening and sending gifts. So when it turns midnight for you, don't suddenly race open and open all your gifts. If you're doing what I usually do, looking for Pokeballs and items and stuff, you want to be able to make sure that you wait until you get that challenge within the game to send and open gifts to make sure we can all do it properly. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go whenever you are. Golden Sage me for chilling. I sent you the friend request. Uh, also ready as well um, for combo cash, mate. If you don't mind sending it over once you open the gift. Good luck out. We already have friendship if you want to send the battle over. Or I can send it. If you're going to see the slow bro ice cream, the look it's need the trinity we might see it we definitely might see it slow bro interesting a lot of players are, are using that as their confusion user so definitely an interesting pick i personally love slow bro so i i'm these i like clubs. i like slow bro as well i like the yeah. story of slow bro as well yeah. slow bro and slow king with the shell that it's really imaginative it's a, it's a cool pokemon for sure Right now we have Bone Chip versus the King Fiend. They're both undefeated. What happens if a Clam Pearl bites Slowpoke's tail? Becomes a Slowbro. Would it? But right, it's shell there. Would it become a different version of that? Oh, I thought you said. I thought you said. It, it yeah, because if it if it if a if a shelter bite no, it's shelter that bites the slow bite itself. But what if a clam pearl bit the tail Amber, rather than a shelter? Because this is also a very similar shellfish type Pokemon, isn't uh, it? Uh, the answer is nothing. We don't know, right? But no, <laughs> I'm, inter so, I'm interested, right? <laughs> yeah. So what's fancier than a bro? So a bro, a clam pearl is fancier than the other thing. So what's fancier than a bro? Like a. Slow, slow swag. A slow gent. A slow gent. Yeah. Slow, slow rather, gent. Slow, rather than a bro, a slow gent. <laughs> a slow gent. Yeah, he becomes if he, if he gets bit by a clear pearl, he instantly evolves to the slow gent. <laughs> yeah. And he's super polite. He sounds like you when you're doing your British accent. <laughs> All right, I think he's locking in here. All right, guys. Good luck. Have fun. All right, here we go. Round number five of the Grunt Cup. <clears throat> it is Bone Chip versus the King Fiend, and we have Toxic Croak into Lantern. Immediately, this is good for Bone Chip because these Mud Bombs are super effective. It is the Water Gun variant. Interesting. So these Water Guns are going to be adding up. It's a little bit choppy on my end, but the Mud Bomb will do super effective damage if it goes unshielded and he knows this is a mud bomb energy and he lets it go but this is really interesting could the lantern win the no shield it can win the no shield that's an interesting wrinkle and he is going for that play so toxic will shield this and probably be able to farm down but maybe that is what the king fame was looking for the king fame was just looking up to sack this lantern and get one shield and he did go ahead and do that so if he comes in now with a confusion pokemon which he doesn't actually have because i had them mixed up so here comes the mi oh it's the mud slap though almost as good as the confusion here so at this point the marowak isn't threatened too much because these are neutral mud bombs or not very effective sludge bombs so he lets it go and he's just gonna slap this toxic rope to death he just slaps it down he still has two shields this is fantastic and you expect the frost slash to come in it is the frost slash but Man, these neutral mud slaps are just adding up on this frost slash. The frost slash instantly lets this go. Will it just be the bone club? It is that bone club. And at this point, I don't believe the frost slash can farm down. Safe switch in the Lickitung. Two shields for the Lickitung. You'll love to see that. That's really good. I think he identified that as one of the strongest Pokemons. And Toxicroak is out of the way. This Lickitung can go to work. Sizer is okay to let this Body Slam go through, though, because it is resisted. But two shields for this Lickitung is just deadly. He is gonna probably gonna throw the Night Slash here to try to bait the shield. And he gets the two Night Slashes. So is he going for the back-to-back, -back, trying to rob the Lickitung of a Lick? That would be just be a, a very cruel thing to do because Lickitung's love the Lick so much. Oh, he got the boost! Oh my god, he got the boost! Oh, wow, wow. He, I think he's gonna shield this. He wants to get some damage in with this boost, or is he gonna let it go? He lets it go. Bone Chip lets it go, has barely any health left. Is he gonna go for the big iron head? 
Yes, he is going for a big Iron Head here. You have to expect Lickitung to shield this because of the boost. The boost is really causing a lot of pressure. He lets it go. He lets it go and he takes the Iron Head. And this Lickitung is almost dead now. Does Lickitung have any energy for this Frost Slash? No, it doesn't. This Frost Slash is at an Avalanche. It has to get the two Avalanches, though. But this... Can he get Mud... No, he's already at two Avalanches. Wow. Wow, that boost changed that matchup, getting to that boosted Iron Head, going through on the Lickitung, and now he can back-to-back -back Avalanche and take this victory. Bone Chip takes game number one. Damn, GG's. Wow. GG's, guys. Sorry, it's a little bit choppy, that gameplay, but um, still, you can all see what's going on. Yeah, it happens sometimes, so. Yeah, it, it does, it does. It doesn't really matter what phone you're using as well. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it can be like that's the, just the connections. Yeah, you can have the most modern phone, and sometimes it still likes. They do like the lick, yeah. <laughs> Loving the commentary for sure. Thank you. That Shout out to really 20 Butters, story. guys, by the way. Make sure you give him some follow and love on oh, Twitch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to stream more often this upcoming month. Um, almost daily not you know not to the extent of uh definitely not to the extent of of max but i don't even know i think uh sass you're a pretty consistent streamer as well so yeah I'm trying trying to uh get get to your guys's level a little bit but hell yeah mate love it please do dude you're encouraging so many more people to get involved in the game and it's pushing up the total when you look now on pokemon go and you look at the total viewers across the whole platform it makes me smile every day we're seeing like two and a half three thousand people yeah. watching the category at once and like that is wonderful there was a time where it, there was there was no one about and you know it was proper tumbleweed so yeah it, it's it's amazing please please keep the streams coming first dude you're such a brilliant streamer love your energy mate if you can stream daily that gives oh, us uh, all something to look forward to, to my bad every day they, my bad <laughs> I, I i will try uh well, I'm not making any promises, but I'm going to try to be doing my uh, my GBL sets daily and maybe some some different things where I try <laughs> to feature some other battlers and shoutcast. Um, maybe, maybe Max, you could even join me for a shoutcast one time I would on my love, stream. I would love to, <laughs> mate. You can come. You, I would love to come and just like you, for you to help me improve my game, to be honest, mm. dude. You know, I would love that. Yeah take some tips and like help me just improve my gameplay and i could yeah, save my sets to do with you i'd love that yeah that would be fun all right game number two sizer in to the lickitung interesting so lickitung likes to see everything but two matchups so lickitung facing the sizer isn't the best thing for it but these licks are just adding up and he's going for the night slash once again will bone ship get boost two games in a row that would be huge if he gets the early boost. Uh, it does not. It's a little choppy, so it's a little hesitant there. It does not get the boost. And now Lickitung uh, powered up a lot of energy, maybe going for the back-to-back -back body slam. But this Sizer is sneaking in an Iron Head. And as we saw in last battle, the Iron Head does a lot. Oh, my goodness. It almost kills the Lickitung. Now, does this Lickitung have two body slams? Two body slams should be enough. But does he have it? uh this first body slam will go through if he gets to one more it will almost be enough because it actually doesn't ko and now it will be a fast move battle does sizer just let this through and then see who can win fury cutter or lick i think lick wins no he does shield it he doesn't want to be in that lick off because he knows he loses that every time look at the size of that tongue and here we go say switch smacks down the toxicroak but switch locks it he switch locks the toxicroak and a, uh the whack i almost said a whack but it's just a Canto Marowak. This Canto Marowak is just slapping mud. He's playing dirty. He's just putting mud in the eyes of this Toxicroak. He can let this Mud Bomb go through, and he does. He lets the Mud Bomb go through. So now he's going to be able to farm down this Toxicroak, be able to threaten Bone Ship's third Mon, and have two shields for his back Mon. King Fiend is looking to be in a, a, a fantastic position here. At this point, this... Uh, Marowak has a lot of energy. Is this going to be something bigger than Bone Club? No, it is just a Bone Club. Interesting. So is the Bone Club, and now two shields for Crawdilly. Oh, my God. He knows the meta. Two shields with Crawdilly. Nothing beats it. Uh, this is going to be a GG here. Uh, just one Grass Knot and some subsequent Bullet Seeds will 
will almost be enough. Maybe he needs to get the two grass knots, but at this point, he's gonna shield this ice beam. He's gonna, oh, is he gonna switch? Oh my God, he went for the sack swap on the sizer, but he doesn't quite get it, but he is able to throw a night slash, which will get the second shield from the Crawdilly here. And he can't farm down the sizer very easily because it double resists bullet seed with that bug steel typing. So now he has to throw energy, but at this point, Crawdilly is just gonna outpace the slow bro. Uh, Grass Knot does KO, even though it's double resisted. And here comes the next gr Grass Knot. Slowbro is kind of a tanky, uh, a tanky gent. So he will take this Grass Knot. Uh, and he will go down, though, because, wow, that Grass Knot did a lot of damage. Damn, wow, GGs. this is really good. The King Fiend tying it up one to one. GG's, guys. Here, I'll hide your screen. <laughs> Well played by King Fiend. A, a definite strategy there where he he was trying to get the Toxic Rook out of the way, I think, by leading the Lick Licky. And then he was able to line up that Toxic Rook with the Marowak and then save two shields with Crawdilly in the back, which, as we know, number one on PvP poke, it's so dominant, especially with shields in it and without a counter user. Even up one shield, it beats the entire meta except for Toxic Rook. Toxroak is literally the only Pokemon that can beat it down a shield. No Pokemon can beat it down two shields. So uh, saving two oh, wow. shields in the back for that Crawdilly, which GG's is uh, gone, Sitzman. fantastic play by the King Fiend. All right. Yeah, he has to resend the battle real quick. Okay. I think no it, worries. I think that like I think they disconnected. Also, guys, it's worth mentioning, if you are enjoying yourselves here and you are having fun watching the tournament, Rob has actually recorded all of the Grunt Cup since Grunt Cup 2. Uh, you can watch every single Grunt Cup that we've done on YouTube. So if you go into the Discord that we have, the team Discord, you can press each uh, page. We've got all the channels still open for Grunt Cup 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And one of the most recent comments of each of those will be a link to the YouTube video so you can go and watch other Grunt Cup goodness. It's always exciting. And yeah. they are there to be watched. I try to leave timestamps when I put them on YouTube. That way, if you just want to find a certain battle, you can just click in the timestamp in the description and skip around that way. But yeah, um, the only one I don't actually have online is the first one, which is kind of unfortunate. Sasshole, uh, that, that clip, that clip is, is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cradilly spent all these months in working out in the gym. <laughs> we got the Cradilly on Toxic Crickly in here. Okay, are we in it? My bad, I was looking at chat. We got the Crawdilly in the Tox Stroke. That is exactly what the Crawdilly does not want to see. So fantastic lead by the King Fiend. How will Bone Chip try to sway this Rock, Paper, Scissors to not match it up again? And he throws the Mud Bomb. And now this Frostless is going to be at about 60% health. And oh no, the Lick Licky comes in. So now at this point, the Lick Licky could take an Avalanche and just try to Lick down. It will probably have to shield at least one Avalanche. But you would have to think that... The King Fiend wants to maintain switch advantage because that Toxicroak versus Crawdilly is such a good matchup. You just want to hold on to that. And he is going to get to this next Avalanche. But is this Lickitung going to double shield? Uh, Crawdilly, Crawdilly does lose the Toxicroak, but not with two shields down. Okay, he does let that go. And then he licks down. So now this Lickitung has licked its way up to so much energy. It licked an entire energy bar up. And what will come in? Probably the Sizer to absorb all this energy no it's the crotty very surprising here because the body slams are going to be coming in they're going to be adding up uh this first body slam does actually way less than i thought i thought with even resisted it was probably going to be doing at least uh like 15 percent of its health but that just tickled the crotty doesn't care about body slams at all crotty has been spending a lot of time in the gym he took that like a champ and now he's going to throw what it looks like to be a blind Grass Knot here, and we'll see what it lands on. It lands onto the Toxicroak, so great switch into the Toxicroak there. But now the Toxicroak is matched up versus the Sizer, and that's not good either. King Fiend doesn't bring Toxicroak in the first three games, in it, our first two games, and then he brings it game three, and Toxicroak is fantastic versus Bone Chip's line here. Great play, great call, 
by the King Fiend. And now is he gonna go for the Night Slash bait? Yes, he knows he has an uphill battle. Bone Ship has an uphill battle to swing this back into his favor. So he is going for the Night Slash bait. It doesn't go through. It gets shielded. That's really good. And now the next Night Slash, no! He barely loses the race and the Mud Bomb is gonna be able to be go through. It is shielded though. Wow, how much is Sizer gonna farm? No, it was a D6 CMP. That's terrible. Now this Night Slash should kill it should kill the Toxicroak here. And the Toxicroak does go down. And then what's going to be in the back? It's, oh my god, it's that Marowak just throwing these Mud Slaps. This Night Slash is going to do a bit, but Marowak is a little bit tanky. And is Marowak going to be able to close this game out? Marowak takes that Night Slash right on the chin, slaps down this Sizer. Get out of here, Bug. Does he, does he get the Mud Slap before? Oh my oh. god, he gets the Mud Slap before the Grass Knot. And Bone Ship goes down. King Fiend takes it two to one. Such a wow. close game. Damn, GG. Wow. That, was, that is big. That is a big moment. Flipping heck. Pretty epic, guys. Good wow. games. Bone Ship one bullet seed away from that grass knot. Such a close game there. Damn, son. Also, GG's to uh, Combo Cash. I had three incredibly close games again there did manage to take it this time as well so yeah really happy. gg's combo cash great games thank you so much for the battles. Damn. dude thanks for sharing your side of the battle bone chip by any chance the king fan can you download uh can you download team viewer quick support so we could potentially have you on the stream for round six that would be awesome um if you're hanging out here actually i don't know I'll send him a message on Discord just in case he's uh How did how did your battles go, Rob? Oh, I, I lost. It's a little it's kind of, it's I'm not gonna lie, it's a little tough trying to multitask, but at the same time, yeah. like I'm just I'm just trying to enjoy these battles and I really am. I think this is a lot of fun. And that's what it's about, isn't it, mate? Absolutely. I mean, obviously like I wasn't gonna get first place anyways today, so let's see who's gonna take it. Um, the horn. Who am I trying to message again? Oh yeah, uh, King Fiend. King Fiend. It's some good sportsmanship in the chat. Bone Chip saying GGs to Mr. Fiend. Really well played. Yeah, nice, nice guys. They were brilliant games. Very, very exciting. Where's he at? Okay. See the scene about Zangus. <laughs> So the outcomes we have so far, we saw the King Bean managing to go two to one against Bone Chip there. Uh, Nikki Toba beats Birdwatcher Hawk. RC Cola takes the victory against uh, Solray Lamy. Grumwich loses to Deflo there. Deflo, well done for taking down Grumwich. Congratulations. Also shout outs to Deflo, another fantastic Pokemon Go streamer here. Uh, Papacorn managing to beat DM. Papacorn, another Pokemon Go streamer. Uh, Freaky Bot wins against Hiker. Hiker also streaming the coverage right now on their own channel as well here on Twitch. Uh, Before Dawn and Jonathan still in battle. Steel, uh, uh, sorry, Steve, Steve F SP loses to 10. Well done, Temri Zen taking it there. Dundidum goes down to King of Charmanders. I wonder how bad the beams were in that battle. Riff Raff the G loses here to Peter Evans. It looks like they the Ronaldo has been Ace Aries there as well. Golden Statesman does take down our man Sassafras here. Um, Graham of Choice, uh, Gra uh, Graham of Choice, Graham, as we know him, beating M Luck there. Victor Vanderslog defeating Jerumba. Well done. The Garda beats Park uh, Country Chick. Uh, I just managed to defeat Combo Cash there. And Rock City Gill going through because of the one player that we had, um, which got removed. Unfortunately, they weren't responding. And also, Javier, Carpro, and Cribsinger still in battle, guys. I hope those games are super spicy. Jim Corn and, and Arrow. Aaron, sorry. Also, Ooh, also still Jim battle. Corn did lose. Wow. Jim Corn's lost as well now. So that means King Fiend has to win this last battle, or oh, it will go into pressure. tiebreakers. The pressure is on now from the King Fiend. Can they take it all the way and remain undefeated for the entirety of the cup? They win the Grunt Cup and the cash 
surprise. Um, I tried to reach out to the King Fiend to see if he'd be down to be on stream for round six. I haven't gotten a response yet. Oh, King Fiend, if you can hear us and you would be interested, we would love to have you on stream, particularly for this next battle, because you are going to be... Um, yes, spread Watcher. And it's to take this all the way. You'll go undefeated, and it would be very exciting to watch that. Where are you at? Thank you for participating today, Birdwatcher Hawk. Word. Let's see. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I I feel you guys there for sure. Yeah, as long as you're having fun, Freaky Bot, for sure. Good, good Absolutely. to have you, man. I, I hope you guys are all enjoying it. Remember, it's all lighthearted, it's all fun. There is a cash prize, but we do these every month as well, remember, guys. So there's always next month to participate again. Always trying to keep it fun, keep it fresh, keep it fast-paced, and keep it exciting. Yeah. Hopefully you're all enjoying yourselves. Make sure you're friendly with each other. Remember, we're doing this for fun. It's not affecting your Silk Road ranking or anything like that. It's an unweighted tournament. We're doing it because we like hanging out together and we like putting on these fun tournaments, these fun metas with Pokemon you don't regularly see in GBL. Yeah, and also in general, like it's just fun to like have something new and different to look th forward to every month. Let's see. Definitely. Because, you know, once if you're grinding GBR every day, you start to see the same teams again. You can be enjoying it, you can be enjoying the meta and loving what you're doing, but it is also nice to have a different take on it as well and get to see more of these Pokemon that we spend all our days catching. It's nice to use everything and um, see a bit of all the stuff. Also, Rob was telling me earlier on today that Weezing is going to be getting a slight buff, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Infestation, Infestation. gets a buff, so maybe we'll actually have... People yeah. running wheezing next Finally, month. we might have wheezing coming in, which is a super grunty Pokemon. Ever since the original, ever since 1996, wheezing has been grunty. It'd be great to have a little bit of wheezing action on the go. Does Galarian wheezing have infestation, infestation also or no? Uh, I'm not sure, know. actually. I'd love to see Galarian wheezing. And Galarian wheezing, yeah. in my opinion, is the best buddy Pokemon to have yeah. on the map. If you have because a draw, just, you have to do another match. The Galarian Weezing just plumes smoke everywhere <laughs> on the map. So when you're walking around, you've got this big bong just pure pluming smoke all over the map. And as you walk around, it just follows you everywhere. It's it's really is yeah, good. I don't know if many of you guys have like tried different buddies just to see what the animations are like on the map. There's some really, really funny ones and some really, really good ones. Oh. Um, Galarian Weezing only has tackle. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, um, whoever ends up facing the King Fiend, I was asking him if he would like to be on the stream, but he's saying that in his area he has bad connections, so he doesn't know if it would compromise his battle. So And can you not contact the King Fiend? Can we not contact the No no I, I I already I am talking to him. I'm I'm saying oh, though you. whoever he ends up facing, if they would be down to yeah, okay. be on the team viewer, then that way we can still see the final battle with everyone. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, Weezing has a really diverse moveset. Like, it has Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Dark Pulse. That's actually pretty good. It does sound great, doesn't it? Oh, but I, it, it's, it, have you ever tried running one? No, I'm actually just going to give it Snarl and then see how it does versus things. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one. But I must have seen, we must have had someone run it once, at least in Grunt Cup. I would never get to see the battle, which I want to see, which is Arbok against Weezing. Uh, it doesn't, that is Jesse's Pokemon versus James's Pokemon. That it would be a great battle to see. We have, um, before Dawn and Jonathan, we're just waiting on their match, and then we'll be able to see who I have to bother to get King Fiend on the stream. <laughs> you know, honestly, Max, I would love... Like, okay, so on this final round chat, we're going to save 
the top pair until everyone else is done. But if you're down max, I know it lags a little bit, but I want to see that muck, man. Okay, sure. I'll swap phones, mate, and then it won't be as bad. So bear with me. No problem. That way we can watch your set for round six and then... Cool. Hopefully yeah, we can get great. King Fiend on and we can watch that final battle. Yeah, that makes sense, Ten Rex, and I, I, I just put it through some sims, and it doesn't even, like, be Azu, which I feel like you would really want to do with a poison type. <laughs> yeah, we're, um, let's see. Yeah, we're definitely going to probably be planning the next Grunt Cup for next month, just because friendship is extended. Might as well do it. Be a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Take advantage of it. I mean, I, I don't sure. see how they could remove the friendship thing now. It Goal number one, really make Hypno thing. Viable. I feel like it's hard to make Hypno Viable just because, like... We've tried so many times. <laughs> what you are the best... need to have strong steel types or strong dark types to balance it. Or else it would be too good, I feel like. Yeah. It's because of the poison. The confusion's really good in Grunt Cup, but not anything that currently has confusion is, like, insanely overpowered. Okay, let's see. So what are the confusion users we do currently have? We've got Claydol and Exeggutor. Venomoth. Slowbro. Slowbro. You can I mean, actually Slowbro run Drowsy, be... technically. Cla Claydol's quite chunky. You can run Drowsy. Yeah. If you want nine, it's calm. Jesus. I'm happy you're having fun, Dim 247. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yeah, definitely. I would appreciate you guys joining because. I mean, we couldn't do it without you. And this meta, per personally, I'm I'm really shocked. Like, I know I'm a little distracted too, but I'm getting wrecked today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like straight up just getting wrecked. I'm like, wow. But you know, again, it's fun, and I'm glad to like be here and hang out with everyone. Thank you so much for putting it on for us, Rob. Yeah, man. Dude, no problem. I mean, I appreciate both of you coming out, Max and Butters. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here, mate. Loving it. Today's a good day. We'll do this, and then go have a date with my girlfriend, and then tomorrow is GoFest. I oh, know. GoFest yeah. time! I'm so excited. All the best of luck, everyone who is going to be playing GoFest. If you haven't got a ticket, I still would recommend that you do buy it. For anyone who's done a GoFest in the past, honestly, it is the best day of Pokemon. It will, You will love it. There's going to be so many rare things spawning, so many shinies. The hype is going to be real. It is going to be a really, really good weekend. All right, let's see here. Oh, uh, do you have the code, by the way, Max? Uh, yeah, sorry, man. I'm still just getting set up here, dude. Oh, no problem. I mean, we're still waiting anyways for the next round. We good. All right. Let's see. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, no worries. I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a couple of issues with uh, people. Uh, we might unfortunately have two people who have to drop out. Dun Didham has said to me, drop me from the tournament, uh, please. They, the, they're at work and the internet that they're using there at work is no longer functioning properly. Um, I mean, Dun Didham, Maybe wait until the final round is ready, uh, but if your internet is still bad, uh, or if you don't respond, then we will remove you, but that is a shame. Thank you so much for participating, if it is the end for you. I hope you really enjoyed it, mate. It's been a pleasure to have you participating. Thanks so much for joining in. Uh, and I think maybe one other person has dropped off as well. I can't remember who it is off the top of my head. Uh, but hopefully you guys are still enjoying yourselves and still having a great time in the battles. And hopefully no stress. I know they're sweaty, but don't let it stress you guys. Remember, it's friendly. And you're battling against people who would always be up for helping you improve your game in the future as well. I'm sure that every player would be willing to give you advice and even teach you how to beat them next time. Okay, I'm sending my code over here to SAS. Oh, no. So we can have my phone screen up here. And you get to see all the misplay Monster Max goodness. I'm excited for this. 
not for the misplay. It's just for the for the PvP monster to. Let's uh, let's let's see if he reels himself. See if yeah, the PvP monster max comes out this time. <laughs> he doesn't always. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Sometimes. You... Sometimes you just don't bring the fire. You know, I'm letting them win, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> when you said that, I don't know for some reason I just imagined the PvP monster max coming out just going. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody get down! <laughs> I've sent Rob my code. Well, it's... it's okay before dawn. You've already proved yourself as a Grunt Cup winner, so if you have one off day, no worries. It happens to everyone. It really, really does. And I'm, I'm sure every single player here has experienced off days when you've been just felt like you just can't get a good opener. You know, you're always losing that initial matchup and stuff. We've all been there. All right, guys. I think it's time to start the next round, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see who I have to bug to get on stream for King Fiend. Jim Corn, that'll be easy enough, because we know Jim Corn can do it. We're gonna get Max on the stream here. Um, sweet. If um, if it would be chill for you guys to wait until, um, pretty much King Fien and Jim Corn, if you guys can wait to do your battle, and Jim Corn, if you're down, if we can see your side of the battle, that would be epic, bro. I'm really interested to see how this pans out because I mean, if Jim Corn ends up winning, it's gonna go into a sudden death round. Uh, also, Rob, did you hear me? I think we may have lost, unfortunately, Birdwatcher Hawk and Dundidum. Oh shit, my bad. Oh, no, I didn't even hear that before I left. Yeah, so Birdwatcher Hawk and Dundidum, I think, may have both dropped off and uh, for both reasons individually, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like they can finish that last Bird round. Birdwatcher Hawk. Such a shame. Dude, I feel so bad that I started it because that means. Um, that means that Jonathan's gonna have a buy here. I'm so sorry, dude. I already removed Birdwatcher Hawk, but um, Dundidum, I didn't get a chance to remove. That was my bad. I was, uh, I was like, in, I, was, I left briefly. So, sorry about that. It's okay, mate. Don't worry. Sorry, John. The King John. Fiend, the King Fiend versus Jim Corn. That is Pog. That's an awesome matchup. All right, guys. Give me one second here. <sighs> Hold on. Let me uh, get this all situated. Um, whoa. Max is huge. You guys Thanks, all have man. <laughs> your, uh, you guys all have your power banks all charged up. Yeah, charged they're char up? they're charging right now, mate. I can see the blue lights slowly growing. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've got three phones I'm taking with me as well. Not to play on. I only I only play on one account. All three phones are just ready for when one phone dies. I can go straight <laughs> on to the next one and carry on playing. That's right. funny. We should have some spicy battles here. Pocket Monster Max versus. I'm against M. Luck here. M. Luke. One second. Let me get this situated and then. Bam. Uh, everyone's getting My their chargers prepared. Okay. okay, the battle request has come up. Do you mind hiding my screen just for one moment, Rob? Yeah, I'm still uh, trying to set it up too, if you give me a second. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Did you already check out that balloon? No, I haven't pressed the balloon yet. Ooh, I like the balloons. I like that feature oh, a lot. I, I also like the balloons. Yeah, they're yeah, nice. I, I think they're really good. It, it's brought a lot more gameplay for those people who are stuck inside all the time as well. You know, it, it's added a lot, a lot more stuff to do, which is great. Okay, we got it. Pocket Monster Max versus M Luck. Yeah, uh, Jim Corn, if you can, if you guys can, if anyone can remind King Fiend and Jim Corn to just hold off on their battle for now, that would be lovely. All right. 
and then it will apparently hide your screen now. Well, all right, you're hidden. Okay, cool. Whoever's my who's my opponent? Garter, hold on, homie. All right, so up first we have the PVP Monster Max, the <laughs> Shadow Muck Shadow Executor Zangus. Gengar, Celio, one of Max's favorites, and Toxicroak. Oh, uh, shit, I need to... Hold on, Max. Don't... Don't play it. The Zoom call just ended. I forgot I need to make a new Zoom call. Oh my gosh, thankfully it happened before the battle started. <laughs> my bad. Uh, give me one sec that I bring them back in here. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Brutism. I'm so sorry. That means you automatically win the last round. I'm really sorry, dude. I kind of I should have been more patient before I went in to the final round. I just figured it was already set in stone. But yeah, I should have. Uh, what I should have. I guess I should have asked and been waiting. But um, hold on here. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. It always sneaks up on us. Yeah. That bathroom break just wrecked me. <laughs> I'm ready to go here as well, guys. Whenever you are ready, Rob. Okay. If you guys are all good now, we can bring Max up. Oh, wait. Let's do it. I'll press go. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, we'll have one next month. I'm really sorry about that, dude. Because you could have definitely just enjoyed a final battle here. Oh, no. This is not good for Max here. The Toxic Croak into the Clay Doll. He can sneak into Confusion. And, oh, it looks like he's just going to sack the Toxic Croak here. That's tough. And then safe switch into the Zangoose. And these Shadow Claws are coming in super effective. They're coming in fast. They're coming in hot. But at this point, Clay Doll is pretty tanky. And Zangoose is pretty squishy. So he's going to commit that shield there. But the good news is... Uh, Zangus is quite nice against Clay Doll because these Night Slashes are super effective. And it looks like he CMP'd there, or was it the Desync CMP? Will it be a CMP switch? We're going to have to find out. It looks like it does hit the Clay Doll, and now Clay Doll is in farm down range. So the Clay Doll goes down. This isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, that Clay Doll did get a shield and almost kill two Pokemon, but not the worst thing in the world for Max <laughs> here. <laughs> and here comes the leopard wow that's some serious spice the leopard i believe is a normal type so we'll resist these shadow claws but this night slash will be coming through does it get shielded it does get shielded so he's able to pick up a shield here it's a charmer it's a charmer oh my god the charmer Le uh, leopard and in comes the mud bomb i don't know how tanky this cat is will this cat be able to take a mud bomb how much will it chunk will it shield it it does go for the shield and then switch into the executor there's play here wait if he could somehow be able to oh it's a toxic croak and he just farms down the toxic croak now all he has to do is get to a charge move he just has to get to a charge move and he can win is he gonna go for the psychic or the seed bomb he goes for the seed bomb this is gonna be so close the pvp monster max had this lined up all along the seed bomb goes through ko's the leopard no it barely survives but one confusion and he hangs on with a sliver of hp max takes game number one wow. <laughs> 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 well Good done. Game, that Good was game. crazy. Well done. Oh my goodness. All right. What a game. What a game. Those Toxic Rogues did not have a fun time that game, but uh, wow, what a match. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, now you can relax a bit. You're up 1 0. The, you know, the yeah. pressure's on the opponent. Now. Oh, wait. Let me hide your uh, screen real quick while you're picking. Wow. What a battle. What a battle. Uh, it's a dark type. Leop Leopard's a dark type? Yeah, I think it's just pure yeah, dark. Yeah, it's pure dark. dark. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. That's new to me. It's a char it's a dark type with a charm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, which is very cool, isn't it, really? I, that is a spicy Pokemon to see. Is this the only squad running Leopard as well? Could yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. There, that's the only person who is running that. Yeah. Okay. That's I love that. I love that a lot. Super spicy. Yeah, yeah so definitely. It was resisting those confusions. That's interesting. Wow. 
What a battle. We're going to get into game number two. All right, once he locks in, I'll bring it back up here, guys. Just want to make sure it's fair. All right, I'm ready. I've pressed go. All, All right, right, got you. Yeah, I was just looking, staring at Max, looking at his game face. Just <laughs> looking at his composure, his posture. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> game number two. Interesting. We got the two confusion users meeting each other in the open. This is a confusion duel. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. And it just seems like I believe the executor has the advantage here. Just because these seed bombs are coming out faster and they're super effective and he lets it through. The opponent lets it through. He or she, I don't know, it's a female avatar, so maybe I should say she. Uh, and the opponent lets it through and then Max goes ahead and shields his earth power. Does he get the debuff? No debuff. He's going to be able to farm down. This is fantastic. He did use a shield, but took that switch advantage and has, you know, a, a 35 to 40 percent healthy executor with a confusion or two of energy. No, more than that, a seed bomb of energy. And he's going for the big psychic. Oh, my goodness. This is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, these Zangus might be able to shield this and farm down though, which will be interesting. So Max doesn't want that to happen. No, he does let that happen. He thought about not letting it happen, but those confusions, chunk. Zangus is at about 60% health. And now he's got some tanky guys at the back with the Celio and the Muck. He comes in with the Muck, the shiny shadow Muck. You love to see it. So at this point, he's resisting uh, the close combats, but the Night Slashes will be neutral. So he does go ahead and shield that Night Slash. And there's no boost from the Zangus here. Wow, this Muck is just going to be able to uh, blob around and maybe farm down, which would be really big. What is going to come through? The Night Slash. It shouldn't do a ton. Muck is fairly tanky, but it is a shadow. Does he? Is he going to be able to get the farm down? This is going to be so close. He gets the farm down. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Now this Muck is just has a ton of energy, goes for the Thunder Punch. And here we go. The Dark-type Pokemon, the Leopard but it is quite squishy. So he goes for the Thunder Punch and it gets shielded. And then in comes, in comes the Celio. I don't see a world where a Leopard beats the mustache of the Celio. The, the Celio is just too strong of a Pokemon. It's gonna spit water at this thing and then get the Body Slam. This Leopard might die to one Body Slam. No, it's not that squishy. It survives that Body Slam. Will this Leopard get to a charge move? I will get to find out what charge move it has. No, it gets Water Gun down. GG. Wow. The monster max. Oh, the muck. That's the that's that spicy muck that you wanted to see as well. Though. Yes. That was yeah. awesome. When someone just invited me to a Groudon raid. <laughs> How? A Groud a Groudon raid. Wait, is it oh maybe someone in Australia. Oh, that makes sense. Oh wow. Oh man, I can't accept it though. Yeah, well, you can ex dude, you can accept it. Just tap and just don't look at the screen. Just tap on your screen. You don't even. No, need to no, it, it right? didn't let me. It said a group was uh, not found. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh, like, he's like, oh, hell yeah, I'm sure. trying to accept. Yeah, it. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that was cool. Can you hide the screen again? One sec, mate. Only if you. Oh, 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 yeah, my bad, my bad. Take, take, take your take your time, mate. You got it. If he messaged me, maybe he's uh he's from Sydney, I believe. Some nice games there, some really awesome Pokemon. Great gameplay. I'm waiting. I'm looking at Rob's face, waiting to see a moment where he's like switching oh, I can do it. charge move, so I can get this battle on the go. I'm ready. Oh, I'm it. ready. I'm locked in. Let's go. Got All it. Right. Hell yeah. Here we go. Game number three. Gengar into the Toxicroak. So this is a pretty good matchup for Gengar, especially now that he has the Shadow Punch, because uh, the, the bad thing about Gengar before is he was actually quite predictable because all his charge moves were slow. And it's, so Max is just going straight for this Shadow Punch here, and it's going to chunk the Toxicroak. Toxicroak is uh, not the bulkiest thing, but actually decides to just go ahead and take that and go for the Mud Bomb. And now this Mud Bomb is gonna do a lot. So Toxicroak can easily win the No Shield if, if Max lets it go. Uh, and he does go ahead and shield that. And now 
the Gengar is is a really good position because it's just resisting these counters and just going for the next Shadow Punch. It will have given up a shield, but if the Toxtrope lets this go, this Gengar is pretty healthy. So uh, Toxtrope does shield, though. Is is Toxtrope going to get to the next Mud Bomb? Uh, maybe Toxtrope just wins this because uh, at this point, uh, it looks like Mud Bomb would KO. So at even shields, the Toxtrope was coming out ahead and... Gengar does go ahead and sh shield that. Can he farm down? It's going to be so close. He doesn't go for it. The Shadow Punch is going to uh, go through, I believe, unless the Talk Troop wants to double shield this. Does he go for the double shield? I don't believe he's going to go for it. He does. He goes for the double shield. Is he going to be able to get to a Mud Bomb? No. The quick switch by Max. But here comes the Mud Bomb. This Mud Bomb is going to chunk the Shadow Muck. This is going to do a lot of damage, probably like 60% of its health. Oh, my God. That chunk. That Shadow Muck just took a, the biggest Mud Bomb of its life, and what? And now it's Switch Lock, too. So what will come in? The Leopard with the Charm, but the Charm is resisted by Muck. Muck is that Poison type, so it does quite nicely resist those Charms, but it is a Shadow. It is low health. It's going to get the Thunder Punch. It, oh my god, even the Thunder Punch does so much damage. It's going to get Charmed down, though. Leopard in all three games, you love to see it. Doing those super effective Poison Jabs, almost able to kill the Leopard, and now... These Shadow Claws are resisted. Can Leopard please get to a move? I want it to get to a move so bad. It doesn't get to a move once again. And then what is in the back? I believe that was the Clay Doll. And Max is a monster. So he quickly identified that. Going for the Night Slash here. Super effective damage. Look at those fast reflexes by the monster. And now he's going <laughs> for the next Night Slash. Will this KO? This is going to be very close to KOing. But maybe the subsequent Shadow Claws will take game number three for max here let's see it goes through now shadow claw race shadow claw race he gets it 3-0 for max here great games uh by m luck love to see the leopard love to see the spice uh yeah great games i'm luck and th the leopard was such a cool pokemon you're the only person to run it so definitely winning a spice award congrats That's thank awesome. you so much yeah. for the battles before dawn king charmander's guys thank you so much for for participating today I hope you guys have yourselves a great evening and have a lot of fun this weekend. I know I'll stream at least one of the days for GoFest, so we'll see how that goes. All right, are um, you going to play it from home, or are you going to walk around while you do it? I want to, like, the thing is, Streamlabs mobile right now is, like, so bad. Like, I was trying to even just stream from my mobile setup on Community Day, and I kept mm -hmm. getting buffering, even when I was connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. So I might stream... Like doing incense from my home for okay. my stream but yeah I, I don't know it's rough i definitely uh want to go out though and play and that would be like a day for me you know what i mean so i don't have to be like talking the whole day yeah <laughs> like oh guys guess what this is, oh. <laughs> yo it's what okay. up it's gonna give you a lot of clips though. Like I feel like you have those clips of like you reacting to shiny. Holy it's fucking probably... shit! It's like I can yeah. make a whole montage of just go fest. Yeah, exactly. Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's beautiful, by the way, Max. Wow. God. Wait, what are the IVs on it? I want to see the IVs. Oh, though. that. Are you ready, mate? That dreadful. <laughs> that dreadful. I just. It's you have. You have to do it. If you get a shiny shadow, which goes to exactly fifteen hundred, yeah. <laughs> you've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Just imagine look at the like... IVs, though, mate. Here you go. Oh, and look at attack weighted. It could be good. It could be good. It's just fully attack weighted. It it's might like... hit some break point. You yeah. never know. <laughs> I mean, it's done. It's done a good. It's it, you know, it's done well for me. I actually avoided using it at the start of the tournament today. I avoided using it because I was like, it's not ranked very high. I've never played it before, yeah. and I was struggling. But then, when I was not doing too good, I thought, let's let's try running the muck strats and bringing in the muck. And actually, I've won more games off the back of the muck than any of the Pokemon. And I think wow. it's partially because people don't know what to how to deal with it. Yeah, you uh. Jim Corn, if you want to connect to me, or I'll try to connect to you again. I'm gonna. Oh wait. Uh, sorry. I just realized like it's we're not in a rush. We still actually have a lot of battles left. If you want to keep talking, Max, my bad about this beautiful creature. Oh no, yeah. Like, I'm done flexing my muck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I like this is one of the cooler that, like... event shadows you could have got. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm really, really, really happy to have it. 
Uh, these are the shinies that I got that I was talking to with Butters about between oh, the community days. I God. also got a shiny timber yesterday, guys, from a raid. Oh. So that was really, really nice to get. Wow, GG's, man. I was yeah. actually expecting you to have like way more dust than you have. Uh, I spend it all. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, what I used to do historically was I'd want all my 100% Pokemon level 40, so I spent a lot of time spent powering up those Pokemon. Hiker coming in with the raid there, Yo, dude. I hope you had a fantastic tournament, mate. Uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you for uh, participating, uh, the, the Ronaldo, and automatic welcome. Shout out to Hiker Gonzo, another Pokemon streamer and a part of Team Rocket here on Twitch, and he was also battling here in the Grand Cup with us. Welcome. And I know a lot of you are done with your battles now, but the exciting, exciting part is about to happen because we got the finals. Will the King Fiend be able to sweep it clean and go 6-0? Or will Jim Horn pick up the win and force the tiebreaker? Uh, it's going to be a really hype battle coming up really soon. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm really Those intrigued. Stories. Yeah, me okay. too. Here, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to connect... To Jim Corn here, Max. Thank you for sharing okay, your of course. battle. Absolutely. Thank you for having me featured on the stream. And I told you, as Butters has said, as Rob <laughs> said, if you appear on the stream, you battle better. Honestly, yeah, yeah, like, Dave, I, that was the only time I won all three games. That's the only match I won. <laughs> it's kind of true because I got wrecked today, and then when I was on stream for the first battle, I had like the epic win against a uh, hiker. Yeah. Yeah. And. I remember that one time that you showed your POV a lot because you were winning. You had a really good tournament that, that time too. Yeah, I think it's the perfect amount of pressure being on the stream is the right yeah. amount of pressure. You need the yeah. right amount of pressure to battle well. If there's no pressure, you're not feeling it. You're not going to play your best. If there's too much pressure, then you're not going to play your best because you're crippled by the pressure. So <laughs> me being on stream and having it there, it's the right amount. It's and the that Goldie is my, lock that is my sweet spot. It's for the Goldie Lock pressure. Right here. Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Don't feel crippled by the pressure. Oh, you can. It's a real thing. Like there's a, you know, the, mm -hmm. there's a motivation curve that we all have, and you need the right amount of pressure to be able to perform well in tasks. It's the same with sports. You know, like athletes and stuff who get, uh, they get all the cheers from the crowd and Oops. stuff. It can build them up to a point where they're playing at a perfect, a perfect level. But then when it gets too much pressure, they start to cave into the pressure. So you do need to find that balance and I feel that being having your battles on the stream gives you enough pressure and enough excitement that you really bring the fire. Yeah. Also, we should uh before we get into the finals, we should restart the zoom. So like yeah. right right before we should do it. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, um if there's a tiebreaker, so if King Fiend ends up losing to Jim Corn here, there will be a tiebreaker, yes. So it'll be like a sudden death round. All right, you might have a cat obsession. I think like you running the leap herd was a really fun pick. Definitely winning the spice award there. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, let's see Matt, what's going on. The only Lipard in the whole tournament. We're gonna wait a little bit. Max, you have to report your match. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. It's all good. Um. Oh yeah, I have to remove Dundinum. That was my bad. I feel really bad about that, actually. Uh, it's, it's okay, man. You know, it's a mistake. We could always work it out how it would have gone without it if we have to, so. I mean, technically someone would have gotten him by anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So far... We we're just waiting on Rocksteady Girl, so maybe I can bring up Jim Corn here and we can get things situated that way. We can just yeah, jump it's, into it's it. It's time, I think. Alright. I'm connected to Jim Corn. I'm connected to the Jim Corn. It's almost like binge in porn, but it's Jim Corn. Jim Cornism. Man, actually, that one photo he uh, shared <laughs> the other <laughs> day. Yeah. That was a great stream the other day, that was, guys. And we were talking about the potential of doing, like, maybe a sort of podcasty type stream where we have a bunch of 
Pogo, members of the Pogo community and stuff all hanging out and just having chats about life and our experiences of the game and just in general. Yeah, I want to do so that. It was so much fun. I think we should do more of that. Like, it was really, really good. I, I, I enjoyed it way more than playing GBL. <laughs> uh, well, it was at a point where the game was super laggy. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It was just really no. frustrating time. I had but, a fun time as well. I'd be down. Yeah, yeah maybe we can... Uh, good. We'll talk about it. I mean, yeah. I guess we are talking about it. Maybe this week we could do one. If people are down, maybe we could talk about GoFest and like try to flex yeah, on the stream. That would be really cool. Having a <laughs> stream of all like here and show our GoFest Go flexes and like do some casual battles and just chat and stuff and just like all hang out. It'd be great. That'd be fun. Okay, let me um, bring up our opponents here. Since we're watching from Jim Corn's perspective, I'll have it as Jim Corn versus the King Fiend. Even though, technically, King Fiend is the undefeated. No, but it makes sense, though. Yeah. yeah. You're seeing the Jim Corn POV. Alright, let's get this set up. And I guess if you guys are ready... Let's redo the zoom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let us yeah, redo yeah. the zoom. And then you guys are pretty much good to go. Alright. Um, Jim Hansen versus... The King, Philip. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's the beauty of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You'll never remember this moment. <laughs> Ten years from now. Remember that time you called Jim Corn, Jim Hansen. Wait, Max already bounced. Uh, <laughs> get your ass back here, Max. <laughs> All right, let me just end this real quick. What is Jimmy? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just cut butters off. I'm actually really sorry. I've done this. I can't get a break today. I'm just like cutting people off. Keeping people in tournaments that aren't even here. I wouldn't want it any different. Hold on. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna reset the Zoom call and then we should be good to go. All right, All right. the finals. Here we I mean, go, guys. Technically, if Jim Cord wins, there will be a playoffs, but either way, there's this is either gonna be a, a, a sweep or there's gonna be a fun playoff. So either way, this is hype. I'm gonna hide you real quick. And Jim Corn is definitely not an easy contender to take down here. So this is going to be a super spicy set, I think. Yeah, it will definitely be very entertaining to watch. Um, to change my Zoom settings, so I don't always have to change my name every time. I don't know why it changes it back to you. I think I've only ever changed mine once. Hmm. I don't know either. Do you change it in... Uh, yeah, do you change it like in the call? Yeah, just do rename, yeah, I just, guess. Yeah. yeah, just set your name to to twenty verse. Yes. Yeah, cool. Maybe All one right. day. I'll pay for Zoom. We got the finals. Why did Jim Hansen remind me of like a real name? I feel like it is. It's the guy who made the Muppets. Yeah, Jim oh, Hansen is. Oh, okay, I'm... yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Mate, I'm surprised. You, I'm surprised you didn't know that instantly, Buzz. Because well, like, it, yeah, collaboration between oh South Park and like Jim Henson and stuff as well has happened in the past, hasn't it? Ten Rixen makes it. Sure, anyway. Ten Rixen makes a good point. And to think the King Fiend almost missed check in. Like, remember we were wait. Remember we were the only person. Yeah. Yeah, they did. We could have avoided this if we just. And we proper stalled for them. Wow. <laughs> We've actually decided you were a bit too late. And so you, you're actually banned, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. I'm going to be right back as well. Hopefully I get back in time for the start, but kick it off. Again. <laughs> All right. Nice. Where are we at? Is Jim Corn just picking his Pokemon? Yeah. All right. We're about to get into it with the, the Spice from Jim Corn with the Shadow Executor, Shadow Polyrath, Nidorino, Shadow Sizor. Legacy, Doug Trio, and then Crawdilly is the only thing maybe not spicy there. And then we got the King Fiend with the Frost Slash, Toxicroak, Lickitung. Low CP Lickitung, but still doing work. 
Marowak, Canto Marowak, Crodzilla, and Lantern. All right, I think he, he's locked in. All right, here we go. Game number one between Jim Corn and King Fiend in round number six. Can King Fiend be the undefeated champion? And it's Polyrath into Toxicroak. Wow, this is actually interesting because uh, this Toxicroak should be able uh, to survive these ice punches and dynamic punches no problem and these counters are just adding up so much on the shadow polyrath the only thing the shadow polyrath uh, is doing super effective is these mud shots so i think this is toxic Rook's match because he can just counter counter and then get to a mud bomb and that's just going to do so much damage but he's, he's saving up so much energy and then jim corn didn't throw his energy because jim corn was expecting the shield anyway does the toxic Rook have back to back mud bombs here if he has two mud bombs does he back to back them and get the cmp he doesn't they're just punching at each other Jim Corn is going for the farm down. Jim wow. Corn is going for the farm down. He's going for the shield and the farm down. Wow, he's trying to hard take switch advantage here and then maybe pick up shields with this Polyrath. He double shielded for the farm down. Wow, and will he be able to get some effective energy out on, and is the lantern? Oh no, this was a blind ice punch into the lantern, but the lantern doesn't know it's blind. It might shield it thinking it's the dynamic punch. And his shield, thinking his dynamic punch. Wow, does he get to a dynamic punch? <gasps> he gets there. Oh my oh. god. This dynamic punch is going to chunk so hard, but does Lantern just double shield here? And Lantern double shields here. So now Jim Corn picked Damn. up those shields and has switch advantage. The only thing is that Lantern does have an energy advantage. But Jim Corn is going to be coming in with the Sizer. It is bullet punch. You guys all told me it was Fury Cutter. It's bullet punch. I'm looking at it right now. Unless, wait, there are two sizers. Never mind. There's two sizers in this tournament. But anyway, here comes the Night Slash. Uh, it, it is not going to do too much. Lantern is so tanky. He tried to switch on a Thunderbolt, maybe. But now, oh my god, one Hydro Pump is going to destroy this Nidorino. Does he go for the Hydro Pump here? It could be bye bye Nidorino. No, Nidorino's going down. Oh no, it lives just barely but doesn't get to that horn attack. And now this is really, uh, looks like Lantern is in real good position to close here. Even a Thunderbolt will kill. And then he switches into the Lick Licky, I believe, takes this Night Slash. Can Jim Corn get a boost? Can he get a boost? If he gets a boost, maybe there's a shot. No, no boost here. Oh, now he's in body slam range. This is uh, tough for Jim Corn. He's gonna get to one more Night Slash, but the King Fiend, one body slam will secure Game number one, interesting strat by Jim Corn, the double shield to take the switch advantage, but the closer in the back of Lantern was just too much versus Jim Corn. GG's guys. Great yeah. battle though. I love Jim Corn's play with the um, dropping the ice punch and then managing to make it to a dynamic punch after committing those two shields. Really the best situation there to still get both of those moves off in that situation was great play. What a fantastic game. Yes. And I'm, I'm we impressed. Zoom call already. I'm impressed with the King Fiend's play here. He is lining up uh, his win conditions quite nicely. I think he realized that uh, Lantern, the water gun variant with some energy and no shields down, is just quite nice. So he just double shielded that, get some energy advantage. Even if he ran uh, into the Doug Trio, which is typically a bad matchup for the Lantern, it could just get to that Hydro Pump with the shields down. So I. I I really uh, am impressed with the King Fiend's play so far. Yeah, definitely. Like, these are insane. I'm wondering how if Jim Corn can bring it back in this battle. So, who had the other sizer? Because so, Jim Corn's running Bullet Punch, but the other sizer was running Fury Cutter. I guess. Yes, my sizer is okay. So, Bone Chip sizer was the Fury Cutter. Okay, we got him locked in. All right, here we go. Game number two, huge game for the King Fiend. Can he take the 6-0 here? It's Shadow Sizer into Lickitung. This is a good lead for Jim Corn because these licks will add up, but the fact that Sizer is doing neutral damage compared to Lick Licky's either single resisted body slam or double resisted power whip or grass knot, whatever, whatever grass move Lick uh, Lickitung has. This is a fantastic matchup. Uh, he got the wow, boost. Did, oh my god, he did get the boost. Wow, and now he's going to be able to let this body slam go if he wanted, but no, he does shield that. And at this point, 
Lickitung might have two body slams, so he has to press this Night Slash pretty quickly or else the Lickitung... Oh no, the Lickitung just does the back-to-back the -back body slams, and now Jim Corn is doing the same exact strategy. He's gonna double shield and farm down. This is really interesting. Keeping to his strategy, he's gonna farm down and hope to get some shields with this sizer here. He took switch advantage, but is down two shields. He's blind night slashing. I didn't see what comes in here. It was what lantern. Oh, it's the lantern. And lantern might not be forced to shield. But lantern shields anyway. But he gets out of here, not wanting to get farmed down. And in comes the executor. And then, oh my goodness, the save the switch back into the frost slash. This executor can get to the seed bomb. But if this frost slash shields, he could pick up a little extra energy. And there's no shields by Jim Corn. Frost slash with shields down is really scary. So we're going to see how much. No, it looked like a CMP. So Frost Last didn't get any extra energy. I think Frost Last is energy dry here. And at this point, does the Sizer have uh, Iron Head? No, he doesn't run Iron Head. He has the Night Slash. But will the Night Slash kill? I think the Night Slash will kill. This is going to be so close. This Night Slash will kill the Frost Last here. And now, what does he have in the back? It's the Lantern, of course. The Lantern does get an extra water gun in now. And then this, oh my god, this Lantern is versus a Polyrath. This Lantern probably can win with one Thunderbolt. Is one Thunderbolt enough? I, Polyrath is tanky, but it's Shadow. Can it, it might. Live, can it live one Thunderbolt? It barely lives. No, oh, it goes down. Oh, there we go. GG's. Wow. wow. GG's. The King Fiend, well played. Lantern in the back, also Frostlast in the back. Two closers, knowing maybe Jim Corn wanted to go with that double shield strategy. Uh, well played by King Fiend there to 2 0 wow, this insane. and take the tournament 6 0. Yeah, congratulations to the King Fiend. Let's see this last battle anyway, because it's always yeah, nice well, uh... to do. But congratulations, let's see those GGs. Well played to the King Fiend winning this grunt tournament. Yo, it's, this is so well funny done. that like literally we he was the one person we almost like started the tournament without. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's taking the crown. Alright, let's watch this final one. This is for glory. Right. Oh my gosh, the Cradilly matchup. <laughs> wow. Shiny versus non shiny here. Do shinies do more damage? We're going to find out right now for science. Uh, it, it does win the CMP if they both attack at the same time. So, I, I, I mean, this neutral damage is going to add up. Did he hit a great or excellent there? I think he might have missed the excellent there. It looked like it was great to me, yeah. Yeah, it looked like just a great there. And now this other Crawdilly looks to be going for the back-to-back. -back. I think it has two of them. Is it trying to piggyback, trying to cut out a Bullet Seed? Bullet Seed is a hard move to cut out. Uh, no, it doesn't go for the back-to-back -back there. Oh, but it wins this CMP. I don't know if that was a desync CMP, but will Jim Corn commit the shield here or just take take this Grass Knight? He takes the Grass Knight, and he survives just barely. It didn't get to his own Grass Knight. Wow, Shinies are going to do more damage. I think this Grass Knight might KO. This might be once and for all Shinies do more damage. Don't shield. Don't shield. No, I wanted to find out if Shinies did more damage, but the King Fiend does shield that <laughs> and Bullet Seed down. And now what does he come in with? I guess he comes in with the Executor. He does come in with the Executor. These confusions are adding up. Will will he be able to get to a Stone Edge? The King Fiend, is this a Stone Edge? If this is a Stone Edge, it's so lethal. He shields it. Jim Corn shields it. Is it the Stone Edge? It was the Stone Edge. Great shield, great counting by Jim Corn here. He is able to form down. No, he switch locks his he switch locks his uh Marowak. Interesting. And now he can get the two seed bombs here. I he really is gonna be able to kill this this uh Marowak. I don't know if the King Fiend has anything for this executor. The seed bomb is coming through. The next seed bomb is gonna be coming through in one more confusion, and this will KO the Marowak. And then what does the King Fiend have in the back? I have to think that he doesn't have anything for the executor. And this seed bomb does kill. What does he have in the back? It yeah. is the Toxic Girl. He had nothing for this Executor. This Executor wow. is just going to be able to... Wow, oh my god. I never. That Toxic oh, just got headshot. Uh, wow, that instantly killed it. Executor with the sweep. <laughs> wow, no, Jim Corn, congratulations there at the end. And that shows you the power of confusion then, doesn't it? Just really is. If you get it against a fighting type Pokemon, four confusions, is it? That the was knockout crazy. I, mean, I think that was three. Shadow Executor into a double super effective Toxic. I think that was three confusions. But yeah. I'm not sure.
Amazing. Wow. Great games, guys. What a fantastic last set to watch. Yeah, that was really amazing, guys. Holy shit. Uh, King Fiend swept the Grunt Cup. So I think it only makes sense to say <laughs> Grunt Cup champ of Season 6 is King Fiend. Hold on, let's jump well over done. here real quick. Just take a look. If Once everyone... Uh, Ports their matches, we should be able to conclude the tournament here. Uh, I don't know if King Fien is available. Thank you so much for sharing your side of the battle, Jim Corn. by the way. Yeah, cheers, dude. That was really good. It was great that we could still uh, watch and commentate the final. You know, it would have been a shame if we couldn't see it. So that was fantastic. Thanks so much for offering to do that. I was yeah, talking no. to, um, I was talking to the King Fing earlier and he recorded all his matches. Would you guys be interested if I got all of his matches and maybe sometime yeah. next week like we actually watch his whole tournament run that would be quite cool quite cool i think it'd be kind I'll of interesting that. but um definitely worth uploading for sure we could upload them to the team rocket discord as well so you guys can watch the full sweep from the king fiend as well all yeah that was, a, that was awesome and quick shout out to jim corn great run by him as well uh, always running the spicy team and uh, yeah great run great play yeah for sure and you guys can check jim out corn. more of jim corn's uh, uh, gameplay on his own channel as well he's another brilliant streamer jim corn just said he didn't want bone chip to have a chance to win so he's saying he like threw the match <laughs> that's fucking hilarious i mean that's me <laughs> all right Jim Corn. if you once you report your match we can uh, see how this all pans out here whoever gets second place gets fifty dollars you can dm me for the 50 you can dm max for first place yeah the king fiend mate if you don't mind if you could dm me on discord we're both in the team rocket discord so if you could send me a dm on discord i can set up the paypal stuff and you have won a hundred dollars my friend congratulations here we are guys King Fiend is victorious. Hey Tazmaster, welcome to the stream. What a fantastic tournament. Bone Chip that came in was second. So exciting. Bone Chip did come in second. Wow, Bone Chip is always so scary in these tournaments. Nikki Tober and Popcorn, they all tied for second, Papacorn. but technically uh Bone Chip wow. is in second. Love seeing Popcorn up there. Also another Pokemon. Where is um is there any way we can get the King Fiend on the stream to talk? Or, um... Send Pingu a DM. Let's see if they're up for coming to have a little chat. Let me ask if he's down there to talk for a sec. <clears throat> but yeah, that was awesome. That no, unfortunately, uh, there isn't a third place prize. But, um, yeah. I mean, what, what can we do for a third place prize? I'm sure we can think of something which isn't, which is quite easy for us to do. Because uh, uh, Nikki Toba and also Papacorn, guys, you've done incredibly well there. Today. Really great so runs, everyone. I mean, RC Cola, Freaky Bot, Jim Corn, Aaron, Grumwich, Sol Solar Lami. Solar Lami? I know I'm probably butchering oh, that name. Oh, D Flow was also playing in this tournament. Yeah, D Flow no, was. Sure. Yeah. He went 4 2. That's a really good run. Brutism 4 2. Peter Evans 4 2. The Reynaldo 4 2. These are all really good runs, guys. GG's to everyone. I got it right. I've decided what they get about. <laughs> Papacorn and Nikki Toba. You both get gifted <laughs> subs to Sassy's channel. Congratulations uh, for doing so well in the tournament. That's awesome. That's really nice of you, Max. Of course, mate. Thank you so much for hosting it, dude. It's been incredibly fun. I'm sure everyone's enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. The PvP monster Max outperforming Sassafras. How do you how do you feel about that, Rob? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> I'm saying the PvP monster Max outperformed you. In oh, I mean, how are you feeling about that? <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's cool. This one. That's normal. Time. That's normal. <laughs> just another day, right? Just another day. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, thank you so much, Rob, dude. I really noticed like how hard you were working between tapping on your phone and quickly grabbing your mouse and trying to type at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It isn't hosting a tournament and battling and, you know, having other people's phones up on screen and stuff. Hiding so, dude, screens, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not easy to do. Yeah, and Papa Court, there's your gift sub as well, mate. Congrats to I mean, you as well. Honestly, like, it's a lot of fun regardless, you know. And um, the King Fiend says... It's 1 a.m. here, and he's visiting his girlfriend's family, so he can't afford to make much noise. So he's saying Fair. he's sorry he's a terrible champion, but he said catch him sometime of the day. Yeah, no, that's not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask sure. him if he's down to send me his battles. Maybe I can even get him on the stream some other time, and we can like talk to him. Yeah. Now what we could do, guys, as a little bit of an exciting end or like closing thing, is what ideas would you have for the next grunt cup you know the theme we're the baddies right we've got the baddies pokemon we've done all the original team rocket pokemon from gen one to three and then this time round, we've done the uh, gym leaders pokemon what type of thing would you like to see from the grunt cup next time give us those ideas because we'll be talking about it very soon and the sooner we can get a plan in place <laughs> the sooner I... you guys can start getting grunty I have an idea, but I feel like it would take so much work. So Go on, mate. Let's hear how, it. How many, how many like characters are there, like Team Rocket characters that you could have? Could you have six characters? Like you have Jesse James. What other like characters are there? You could have. I mean, you could technically have Sierra, Cliff, and Arlo now as well. Sierra, Cliff, so you could and have, Arlo. You could have Jesse James, Sierra, Cliff, Arlo, and the big old Giovanni. And, and there's Giovanni. Six. And there's yes, six players. that's perfect. Six. So there could be. All right, you would, so say Jesse has like 10 to 15 Pokemon you could choose from, and then James has 10 to 15 Pokemon you could choose from, and then each slot you choose wow, from okay. Jesse, James, Arlo, Cliff, Giovanni, and then you pick your team from taking a slots. Pokemon from them. Yeah, and that's the little continental style, yeah, isn't exactly. it? Having slots. I like that, mate. I yeah. mean, if do it if that was something which we could implement in PV poke as well which is I think, definitely possible because I think they it can be with continentals we just have to talk to Matt I mean if he's also done it before you can do it for this scientist D as well mate what a pleasure to have you in the channel sorry you weren't participating this time around my friend good to see you record time of 10 seconds figuring out the next meta <laughs> I mean there's obviously still a little more nuance to it but yeah the, the concept that is a great That's concept good. though, isn't it? And like, this is it. We love having these little stories behind the meta so you guys understand where the Pokemon come from. And it's great. It's always better with a little story behind it. Yeah, guys, uh, everyone, we want to thank you all for coming out to the tournament today. It's been a success. We've got done in four hours, which makes, it's pretty good time for a six round tournament. Um, Go Fest is coming up. I don't want to, particularly stay too long too much longer because i would like you guys to have some time to get some sleep and everyone else just enjoy the rest of your friday before you, the grind begins but if anyone has any final words here who's on the voice call love to hear them um hopefully we can get some more people interested in next month as well also rob could you ask uh, the king bean to DM me if they are not listening to the stream, ask them to DM me so I can get them their winning sorted out. And Sounds yeah, good. man, it was it was fun once again. It's always refreshing seeing these these grunt cups. It's like a whole new game in some ways. Uh, it's it's always interesting. There's surprises. The games are fantastic. They're usually very close. So I enjoyed watching those games. Um, congratulations to all the competitors. Congratulations to the champion, the king fiend. Yeah, I always have fun hanging out with you too. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for being here, dude, and bringing all your energy that you do. Honestly, it was next level commentary again, mate. And if I might say, dude, you've, it was even better than last time. You're improving. You're already the best, and you're somehow managing to even improve on it, dude. That was such fantastic, top quality, uh, you know, commentary there. Uh, if anything, Agreed. Butters is the person getting us ready for esports because there's so much hype around that commentary. It was awesome to listen to, dude. And great to be a part of. Thank you so much for helping us with it once again. And really hope we can have you back for the next one. I, yeah. I am down. I appreciate that. That's, that's It's almost too kind, but I, I, I very much appreciate that. I, you know, one thing, I saw some positive feedback from my idea of having the six different 
uh, characters from lore giving you a Pokemon. So I personally, I know that's like Sass might be rolling his eyes, like, oh my god, that's so much work. But I would be so excited <laughs> for that. No, uh, I mean, I prefer something to be. It's not even a matter of work. It's just like, does it make? Is it possible to do it? You know yeah. what I mean? Because I think it's absolutely it possible. And, yeah. Yeah, that's it. We need to look at the Pokemon. We need I, a list of the Pokemon to put them together to see what, what it looks like. Yeah. But Even the one time idea. where we had the starter, like that was complicated and we were scared. But I think I feel like I think people, especially with the help of Matt, it'll be pretty accessible for people to understand the concept as long as we nail it out like within the next week or so. Bam. Sure. Plus, we can always cover it on the stream if people are confused. Definitely. Again, guys, um, thank you so much for coming out today. King Fiend is our victory. We'll have to post, I'll post on Twitter and such about this. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out the stream. Good luck on your GoFest. I'll, me and Max will be streaming at some point this weekend. I think you're on, you, did you say you're doing Sunday? I'm streaming Sunday, yeah. Right, so cool. I'm out and about, I'm not, I'm not about on stream tomorrow. I'm going and I won't be saying anything to anyone. I will have my head buried in my phone for 10 hours straight. <laughs> I'm going to be grinding out super hardcore and I'm really excited. Last stream, me, Rob and Burtz were talking about how in the original days of the game, you'd go out and grind those nests right at the start looking for all the Pokemon. I'm excited to get back into like old school Pogo and super hardcore just grinding everything. It's going to be brilliant. Really will excited you visit Pallet Park? No, I'm going to London. So Pallet okay. Park is in is in Sully Hall, which is in Birmingham in the Midlands. Okay. But I'm going okay. central London, which is just the best place to play in the UK, really, because of yeah. the amount of spawns. Right. Fair also, enough. Also, guys, um, by the time next Grunt Cup comes around, where there's going to be changes in the game, so new Pokemon might rise. Of to the course, top. yeah. Weezing is going to be now playable, <laughs> which is I'm so so excited about finally get to see a bit of wheezing action and maybe even with the changes the anticipated hip no will become <laughs> hip yes <laughs> mm, I'm, not, I'm kind of doubting that but <laughs> he's already doubting it but he's like nah don't bank on so it guys good. anyways guys we'll catch you uh sometime this weekend so until next time sounds good to get strong each and every day you guys have a good morning evening afternoon we'll tune in and shout out to team rocket again Make sure you guys give Pocket Monster Max and Tony Butters here a follow on Twitch. They also provide amazing content here. And until next time, peace! And peace, guys. Stay grunty. See everyone. Recording's life. I think so. Stay grunty, everyone. My whole life, I'm doing the.